design, a special one from the CEO stand coming with the spoon. And your boy right in the south and back. Charges on the beat. Converted them to their their own use or converted them to their own names. So we are investigating those situations. So the yellow cars you see, um, we have some intelligence. So we are using the intelligence to begin the process of investigating how those yellow cars were being acquired. So you investigate something. Beginning to investigate, uh, seizing those. Videos. Is it like uh, jumping to a conclusion before? No, no, no. We are not jumping to a conclusion. The most important thing is that these vehicles are flying the street without documents. So that leads to something. And no car should be in the street without documents. So these vehicles are flying the street without proper documents. So we can now, you know. Um, this morning, earlier, we started from the just few meters away from the Catholic Junction. And we're talking about 13.70 acres of land. So we've been able to walk the entire stretch from the bridge to the Catholic Junction leading to the Catholic Hospital all the way to the beach. That is the length of this property, the property that folks are to be evicted from. So you're talking about an entire community of people. Let me just give you the description again. So if you know like where you come to the Catholic Junction, you just come to walk the Catholic Hospital. There is a small bridge. From that bridge all the way to the beach, that is the length of the property. And this is totally between um, the gay interested estate. They won this case at the Supreme Court of Liberia against others, you know, and they have decided to evict 
the entire occupants from their property. Well, we did see some negotiations ongoing. Some houses have been spared. Others have been broken down. This is the second bulldozer. So the first bulldozer we left around the, the Catholic Junction area. It is still carrying on demolition. And this is the second bulldozer that is also carrying on mass demolition as well. Look at the size of that structure that is being chewed away, that is being, that is being broken down. Land. Two houses we pass by from our own evaluation as per our eyes will be in the range of 75 to 80 to 150,000. There are even properties worth over 200,000 just per our visual valuation that has been you know, erected on this property. Well, they've been given their property legally by the Supreme Court of Liberia. After a lengthy litigation, we were informed by a family member who's on the ground that this whole case started in 2020 when they had come to do a survey of their property and they were resisted by those who claimed the property belonged to them. They then went to court and the case reached the Supreme Court of Liberia. The court then handed down its opinion on the 23rd of September 2022, giving legal title and possession to the gay family administrators. This is the interstate estate of Joseph V. Gay. So he died without a will, and his administrators are the ones who have reclaimed the property through the Supreme Court of Liberia. There is also still a heavy police presence here. There are others who are saying the president should intervene in this matter, if not to twat the Supreme Court ruling, but to give the occupants some time to evacuate from their homes. But many of the occupants have said they are open for the option of rebuying these properties. That's the parcel of land that their homes are situated on. The acres, and it encompasses an entire community. Just to give you the length of the property again, from the bridge where the rate describes as a concrete monument, from that bridge all the way to the beach, we're just a few meters away from the beach side here. That is the length of the property. So as to the rate, at least these folks are being able to enroll their house. Look at the structure on this land. Look at this property. Look at what is happening. Families, many of them, do not have an alternative as to where to sleep tonight. We hear it. So as to call the attention of President Joseph Kuman Waika to intervene in this matter. But some are saying, what sort of intervention can the president make in a completely judicial matter? The question is, what sort of intervention can the representative himself make in this matter where you have hundreds and hundreds of his constituents who will not have a place to lay their heads tonight? This is the second day of this demolition exercise. Thousands and thousands of Liberians will be made homeless, as you can see. Personal effects, theory, eyes, where to do that? That is the question. <laughs> I'm 
Yes, we started this one. Yes, I was aware that this place is going to be a lot of food. Yes, I was aware that this place is going to be a lot of food. And it's going to be a lot of food for this place. The only thing is, the only thing is, you see how they are living for them. It was not fair to the community. They, it was not relaying the information to the community as it was for them. Today, to go to court, so now you will not come to the community. I've been here for quite a while. Only thing I will get the lawyer want money. We will collect money and give it to the lawyer. The lawyer want money. We will collect money and give it to the lawyer. Who was this person that was leading the negotiation? Yeah, the person was the lawyer, but the money was the extra. Guest of the guest of the guest of the human rights. Yeah, the human rights. Yeah, so he was the one that the guest here. The community prayed to him. There is not the first person that is coming to kill this community. There is a third family that is coming to kill this community. That's why I see this people want to do it. The people negotiate that with just food and before they pay to get it. I'm going to leave people on the other side of the community. Town. Town and we can call it. We stood up to test you and said, this place was a swamp. And as you know, that no, no, no individual in the swamp. The swamp is for the government. So these people must have been in all their place and just be there on this issue. Now, 2017, another family came. And then another people, another couple went to that family and negotiated. And we got a place from that family. This is the third person that is coming to the But I guess one that is more serious than me. Yes, but this is the Supreme Court order that is being that is being implemented here. So let's talk about other options that are available. Are we going to try to talk to you? Since the case, 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 since the to negotiate with you. Before you can go to the Supreme Court, we, we came to negotiate the community said no because the people were afraid. They negotiated the first one. The second family came, negotiated the second one, this is the third family. So he brought paper he said he won a case from the Supreme Court. Even yesterday, the community were in where at the representative was Mr. Fulton for the Portugal House. The point is, they said, people are willing to negotiate with you. People want to be back. Go, go to the demolition of people's houses so they can go to sit down around the table and then you talk and then you charge them what they have to offer you and then the people can be back. And then he said, only this thing. He won his name. My own cousin he won his name. And this one will be up. The general machine, the sheriff on the phone, the police here. And then they check when they give you your eviction notice. The next thing is they only give you to say, put your things outside. You put your things outside. And then they start to demolish our house. We have to take the perspective of us. We have to take the But again, we have to get as much of this background for this story as possible. We have to take the rest of the team. This community is the carrying of the carrying of the carrying of the carrying of the So this is turning from. Yes, sir. A special one from the CEO stand coming with the spoon. And your boy, Friday the South and Man. Charges on the beat. Okay, tune to Spoon to get your information, tune to Spoon to be part of our discussion, to know exactly what's happening in Liberia, what's happening at the different ministries and agencies, to know 
what the policy makers are saying, what they're doing. This is where you get authentic information every single day about the happenings in Liberia. I'd like to say welcome again to the program tonight, uh, the late night politics on Spoon. My name is Nelson Collette. Thanks to all of you across the world who have joined us tonight. And um, I want to say thanks to our folks in Radio Lane. We're live across the country on Spoon FM 107.5, Fabric 101.1, and Super 95.5 FM. Many thanks to all the partner radio stations across Liberia that are always relaying the program. Thanks to uh, Gibi FM in Kagata, my Gibi County, and a host of other radio stations across the country. And um, yes, we are live on YouTube. Um, the YouTube handle is Spoon Talk Live. And uh, we're also live on Facebook, Spoon TV, Fabric TV, and Super TV. And so again, Welcome to the show tonight. It's going to be a fascinating show. Great discussion coming up. Lots of things to talk about. Too many things happening in Liberia. And uh, we're here tonight to highlight those issues as they unfold. Again, welcome to the show tonight. Let me bring Francis on. He's all set. And um, you know, as we get ready to kickstart the show, we're going to uh, move to the comment session as well to welcome some of you who have joined us from there. And I want to say thanks to every single person on here tonight. Kindly share the program as you come on. Of course, um, a lot to talk about here tonight. Let me go across and bring Francis on. Francis, welcome to the show. It's good to have you on tonight. Thank you, Nelson. Good to be here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. We are here to talk Liberia business. Yes. Indeed, we are here to talk Liberia's business. We are here to talk about... <laughs> You know, like uh, like the clock on the wall. You wake up in the morning. You see, uh, you see things moving so fast. And if you just uh, decided to take a a power nap, someone will say, and in no time, if you left the time at uh, maybe five minutes past 10 a.m. If you're waking up, it's not going to be five minutes minutes past 10 a.m. It's going to be far way above that. So it waits for no man, and uh, it moves so fast without getting the permission of anyone. You know, that's how fast things continue to happen around us, and uh, we wake up every day to new happenings, new developments in the country, and um, and it's, it's just important that we get to talk about those issues. We get to form part of the national discourse that will shape uh, the direction of our country. And so it's good to be here tonight. Francis, how are you today? What's going on? Uh, thank God. I mean, we can't complain. It's been raining for the last three days straight. But, okay. I mean, at least it rain stopped. But, hey, I can't complain. There are some places it's dry, fire burning, yeah, thousands of yeah. acres in California area there and stuff. At least it's not happening as of now, but I will take the rain, you know. So, you take the rain over the <laughs> I mean, there's some of the states that California they are noted for wildfires and stuff, you know, those places are dry, it doesn't rain often, so yeah, you know, uh, they get pr they pray for rain, but for us, we get rain most of the time and stuff. So, but I, I will take the rain, I will take the sun. I'm grateful to be alive, so I can't complain. Yeah, so it's good to be here tonight. Uh, I want us to go to the comment session and welcome a few of our folks who are here tonight. And then uh, we can move on to do our opening here. Um, Francis, you want to pick a few of the names there? Absolutely. We... We'll take, uh, welcome, Amar Allen Silly. Welcome. Our own sister, Marie Keto. She's in the comment session. Welcome. The guy put me on notice already. He said, please call me Azu Yates Jr. Okay, welcome, Azul Yates Jr. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I hope you're doing great. Eric McGill, welcome. Uh, okay, we'll go to YouTube because that's the most. Um, Alice Barr, welcome. Uh, Rose Sonkali, welcome. DJ Du, welcome. Natalia Hill, our own Dr. Ishma Kevin Jensen, welcome. I mean, a lot, uh, there are more people on here, but very few commenting, so that's all we can see for now. Okay, so, so from what I feel, I feel I okay, Mariah. Go okay. Yeah, you go ahead, Nassim. Okay, so I was just saying from where I sit, I see uh, 
Joe Thomas. He says he's falling from Boston Junction. Uh, Francis, do you know where Boston is? Um, no, but um, I have uh, a, pro a property. I mean, I have a land. Hey, yeah, but right, you know your country again. <laughs> but man, I was thinking when I left that uh, place where I know it's a walk up. All, all my friends came out on Camp Jersey Road, Broad Street, Center, Broad Street, Broad Street. I didn't even know. I mean, I knew still talk about Estate because I used to go spend that with my uncle. But all that, yeah. all the places. But you know Boston. No, I don't know Boston. Yeah, hey, you know, Oh, now, now, now you're going there gradually. No, you're going no, there I, gradually. I got, I got um three, three lag over there. You know, I was doing my late thing on it, so I, I know, but I've never so, been there. Yeah, Boston. So, so interestingly, Mob, Mob is still in country, oh, wow. and uh, he'll be leaving anytime soon. So, uh, Mob called me today, and he said, "Oh, now see, my man, I want some meat. My man, let let meet." I said, "Okay." <laughs> So I said, where are you? You? For that ball to tell me the exact location of where he was, it was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy kept struggling. He said, you know, there's a they, they get one blue building here. When you look on the blue building on the right, when you're coming from, I said, no, Moba, you don't direct people what like that. You where are you? <laughs> he said, no, I, I, I somewhere around, I somewhere around <laughs> Brush Street, but there's something on a blue building. I said, Moba, where are you? You know, so yeah, I, I hope I hope you're not a mobile. The man, I'm a sit up, my that's my my old terrain. I want I attended a cathedral, I attended <laughs> um, I graduated from CWA. I'm not CWA, I'm SDA. Why am I talking about CWA? I elementary, okay. I went to Daniel Howard for a little bit. So, you know, sit up, I'm a playground, I play football over there. So, any so if, if you're in mobile's case, you're not miss, you're not miss uh, all those places, but. You know, and 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 at the end of the day, they may they may struggle, but he couldn't make it, so we didn't get to meet. Wow. But um, um, yeah, Boss Town, as you said, right, is in the uh, do I, it's in Margibi, it's in Margibi County, and um, around the Marshall End. So that's where he said he's following from. Um, Joe uh, Joe Thomas. I see Michael Topa here. He said he's following from uh, Yekepa. Yekepa is in Nimba County. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate you. Mariah, Madam Mariah, Mariah Sando Yinatu. Yes, uh, I was I was corrected hugely for mispronouncing this name. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, Kaifa, Kaifa Yama says, share guys. Yes, Kaifa is right. Kindly share the show as you join us tonight. So we have a great conversation going on. Uh, Piu, Piu uh, Telekulu is following as well from uh, Boston, the USA. Thanks for joining us. Dr. Kelvin, yes, we appreciate you. Um, Mary Pele Smo says he's following from Louis, St. Louis uh, City, the US. Uh, Ernest Joe Toil. Yes, uh, Marie says she knows where Boss Town is. Uh, let me recognize the remaining few folks here and then we we'll move on tonight. I see uh, Corn Cyrus. Uh, Corn Cyrus is uh, joining us from Zuba Town. Uh, a diamond job best man. Konagato, thanks for joining us tonight. I see K uh, Kirsten Jones. I see uh, Shelly, our own sister Shelly Snare is here as well. Shelly, thanks for joining us tonight. She says she's falling from Cambridge. Um, Mary Finda Yuma, thanks for being here. Moses Hutton, we appreciate you. Maruba uh, Kum uh, Kamara, thanks for that's uh, Mor Maruba Komano, thanks for being here tonight. Moses Hutton, we appreciate you. And of course, uh, I see Alex Saad. And uh, Coel, Cabal, they are here tonight. Thanks for joining us from across the world. It's a good thing to have all of you on tonight. Uh, so many things happening in our country. Uh, I think I need to add Mikael onto the chat room now. Mikael wants to join the show. So too many things happening in Liberia. It's just important that we move on to talk about those issues. Francis, you want to say what uh, what's on your mind, or just do your your, your one minute 
Uh, tell us yeah, I'll, 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 do, I'll do that quickly. But before I go, quick question. Any C, uh, uh, um, what's, it, what's it name? Uh, Money Captain. Is it position, tenure position? Nothing. Mm, um, that's something I'll have to check out. That's, that's, uh, yeah, I, I, what, uh, his tenure is, his, his position should be a tenure position. Is it? Um, that's something I'll have to check out. Yeah. All right, because I'm kind of confused here. I don't know if that man got something on President Barker. That's why he can't remove him. Because he went after all of the other attorney people. Uh, it, yeah, but he can't remove that guy. All people in Liberia, they're in heat. The electric, the electricity is not working. President Barker, we removed George Weah because we uh, thought he was not doing the work of the Liberian people. That's why I'll put you there. You give him the power. Money Captain been over in that position. Electricity has not been stable. He been there for six years, or I don't know how long he been there. Why can't you move this man? Does he have something on you that you can't move him? You can't touch him. So I mean, it's, it's crazy how you going after all the turning people that when the Supreme if the Supreme Court rule that they should they can be removed, but you have to pay them. You are going to pay them double. You are going to pay that position double because the people. You're putting their gotta get paid, and then you have to pay those people for the remainder of that term. But you got money capital sitting over there taking all. The so, 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 so let, 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 let me let me come here a bit um, uh, just before you you conclude your opening. And and Lin Lakpo, uh is right here. All right, he says it's uh, no, it's not a turning position. So, but what happened is that <clears throat> um, the management team of uh, the LEC. Uh, was being handled by uh, <clears throat> our foreign partners. At some point, it was the Irish who came in and they took on the entire management uh, of uh, the LEC. And so the folks there uh, managed that place for so many years. And then uh, in 2019, uh, in 2019, I still to be corrected. A new management team took over. It was it was during that time when the when the uh, when the compact closed in Liberia, uh, given that that compact spent a huge sum of money towards the energy sector and all of that. Then um, there was some vetting that went on, and then it was it was how a uh, money captain then took over as uh, the head of uh, the CEO of uh, the LEC, then and then serving as the CEO and the board chair. So the Liberian management team actually took over about two years ago. The Liberian management team took over the entity about two years ago. Yeah, but they are yeah. working at the way. There was a foreign the management team there. Right? At some point, it was being managed by Ghanaians. But nothing. Right mm -hmm. now, they are, being, uh, they are uh, working at the will and pleasure of the president, correct? The president can remove them at any time, right? Yeah, the, the, the okay, president. So, that, the, so that, yeah. that's my point. I didn't. I don't want anything else up because I knew. I, I knew it was not a twenty position, but I just wanted to put it out there. That's why mm -hmm. I'm asking the question because you know that library you never know what can happen. But if he's not, uh, if he's not tenure, why is it that he's sitting over at President Parker just went last month to go back for calling to Iron Coast, and you can't remove that man? We hired we hire you because we thought George Weah was incapable, was incompetent. So you come in there, and now you saying Money Captain is competent when he messed up before you got in there. So I just think that Money Captain probably got something on the paper and stuff like that. Because a lot of a lot of things happening here that he's um, he seems to be out of ignore, willfully ignoring. It. This administration is going to be the most scrutinized administration. You came and campaign on uh, uh, have, it may have integrity, corruption free, and you will root out corruption. You have been over. You been over there. You campaign that you are going to uh, declare your asset and make it, make it public. You declare it. You have not made it public yet. You are no different from George Weah. Right there, you are no different from George Weah. Then more than a bunch of people in your in your, in your cabinet. Have not declared the asset. You, you said who's who's no different from President Parker when it comes to asset declaration. He's no different from George Weah. George Weah declared his. He did not make it public to the Liberian people, so they knew nothing about it. 
and President Parker is doing the same exact thing right now. So he 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 he's not different from, from uh, President Weir when it comes to that aspect. So anybody can, can uh, he he leaves himself open to speculation and assumptions. People can right now if he even get a pen after he declared asset, people will say that pen he stole it from the library uh, uh, people, and that's that's why he declared after he got the pen. Why can't he just uh, show it uh, show it like he promised he would do? Nobody forced him to say. But he, because he he he, he felt that like he wanted to get an edge on top of George Weah, that's why he promised to make it uh, um, available to the library people. But now he's not waiting, he's not doing it. He's not waiting to do it, and that's bad. And we can be sitting here defending him on other aspects, but he's doing the same thing that other people did. How hard is it for him to say, you know what? Every single person that that uh, appointed, I gave you two weeks to declare an asset. You will all be fired. Or you declare an asset and see how many people will not declare the asset. You know, and and, and, and this is a serious issue, right? Um, Mikael, uh, I see you trying to come in, but can you adjust the camera? You know, we want to see uh is is fire above your head. Okay, I think that'll be great. Something around there. Uh yeah, something around there is good. Welcome to the show, Mikael. Um you see, the, the point you're raising is a very good one, and it's a good thing that you're opening up this way. We're about to kickstart the show, but um the issue of asset declaration, do you think the president in the first place, President Bracay, should be telling officials, educated men and women who know exactly what the law is, the code of conduct is? Do you really think that President Bracay should be coming up with a circular or an ultimatum or is an executive order or whatever you may call it to get those people to declare their assets when in fact they know they know that there's something called code of conduct that says before taking office you should declare your asset yes nothing he should so, you so, know what? Princess, do, do you want to blame this on the president when in yes. fact he's dealing with full grown individuals, people who are educated and know exactly what the prerequisites are. It doesn't matter if they are older than him or not. He is the president, the box starts with him. So if you want to send a message mm. to the government before and after him, let him say President Parker in plain. The as a declaration thing, he's gonna make sure everybody do it. So he putting his foot down. Yeah, everybody know. The, the the law said declare before taking office. He declared yeah. after he took office. Yeah. But he need to put his foot down and say if you don't do it. But he's not different from Judge Weah at this point because all of his people. If he say he can he can control those people right now or he's not going to do it. Then how are we going to be confident that when there's corruption he will rule it out? But but, 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 but here is the thing. Beginning. Here here is the thing. Here is the thing. And and does asset declaration in any way guarantee the fight against corruption yes but it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't guarantee there will be no corruption because one if you baby steps right you mm -hmm. declare your asset and lcc has a copy of your asset so now that's a benchmark that's where they start investigation from when they talk about somebody left office or they are in office and they have acquired this amount of uh, wealth over the short period of time, they go and look at what you put down, whether it's, it's correct or not. But that's a that's a the foundation. You, you see, they somebody enforce the law. They at some point he because he's not going to kiss anybody behind to, to campaign for in twenty twenty nine. So he's trying to lobby the lawmakers too to change the law and make it public. I mean, declare and make and publish. The, the, wow. That's what he's supposed to be doing. He's not wow. you, you know, the status quo right now. There's nothing. No, those things. Just set him back. No matter the, the people say he's sleeping. No, no, no. But, 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 Francis, Francis, Francis. This is just your opening. We haven't started the show yet. But you know the way you're coming in, uh, you're reminding me of 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 you know one of those sedition guys. But but that's okay. You you no, you are you did a part of the alliance. Alliance. alliance but but, 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 but let, let, let me say this. Let me say hey, this. Hey, go free. Let me say this, Francis. Um, asset declaration or no asset declaration, the government currently has been taking some giant steps towards the fight against corruption. 
You take, for example, this asset recovery team that a lot of people have bashed the government for. You have top opposition figures coming up to say that they're not going to submit themselves to the process. In fact, it's a witch hunt. But look, the government is in the process of making sure that every single individual who served in government will, will be looked at. Now, this is the power to take the respect from your eye. The power to take the from your eye before you take the respect from somebody. No, no, I'm coming. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to drive. I'm, I'm trying to drive at something, right? So the asset recovery team is going after those individuals. You were in, you were in government um, 10 years ago. This is what the situation was. Uh, you were entrusted with XYZ amount of money to manage and XYZ. But uh, based on your current situation, your lifestyle, whatever, we are going after your assets. We want to investigate you. Don't you think that in the absence of asset declaration, asset recovery is just turning at the far end for every single person who's going to exit government to ensure that stolen wealth are retrieved? Yeah, nothing. Asset uh, uh, recovery is good. But this particular, a lot of stick is put, a stock is put into this uh, particular administration. Not because he's going to, he's about to pave all the streets with gold uh, in the next six years. No. But because he's uniquely positioned that he's not going to run in 2029, at least we hope, and he doesn't have to be uh, uh, obligated to anybody. So he can now say, okay, let's recover asset, but. He can set the foundation for the uh, his, his, his his successor and other people after him that when they come into the office, what he did, they will copy it and they will but, build upon it. Francis, so finally, do you think do you think this asset declaration thing is taken away from uh, the scores that the government should be getting at this point? No, no, because it's simple. But he making it an issue. Maybe they're trying to distract from other things that we don't know about, or they don't want us to be talking about. So they want us to keep talking about these things. But it's as simple as A, B, C. If Thank you, you don't declare your answer by the end of the month, I will fire you and put somebody there. That's what you do as a leader. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, for instance, we're going to come to you. In fact, we're about to start the show. It was just your opening, but you came up with a very strong point that we had to uh you know that into people are listening to the conversation i see, I see. no 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 Francis, leave the people in the, the comment section forget oh, forget the people he forget the people in the comment section those people are having their own show in the comment section princess still the out people in the comment section you guys are free as much as you're not insulting anyone but Miguel, go ahead uh let, let's hear your opinion quickly just before we start the show well thank you nothing thank you people in the radio land thank you uh um, my friend panelist will come here again to say something about country and everyone or other sit here and say thing what a sedition this action of liberian we are all here to you know to do the best for liberia for liberia be a good country that everybody will live and enjoy that serving our country the resources of liberia is not for one man not for a group of people it's for every one of us so as to what uh my brother was just saying you know, nothing. That's this is the reason why in every organization, in every group on the planet Earth, we need somebody to lead. As much as everybody can be can be good enough to lead, that's why we always select one person to represent that group because we all can speak together. Now, if, if we do that, we gotta abide by any rule that we set for that person to follow or to govern that group. We have to. And as a leader, when they give you tax. You gotta perform your tax, no matter how small, how big, how large you are. You got to perform your tax, or small or old you are. That means how young you are. You gotta perform your tax. Now, when it comes to the asset declaration thing, President Boaka said it, and he has said when I and declare your assets. So why should be any obstacle in it? If he, the head, did it, then what wrong with the other people? He gotta take some steps. Like I've been listening to, you know, the show today. That a lot of people angry with President Boaka, even the appointment. You know, people, two people being appointed to the same position, some people rejoin that appointment and all that. If the president make an appointment, if anybody get a problem with that, come to the president you're talking in caucus. But just should not be appointed over him because he's the associate right now. People can only advise him to do what they want or 
He can listen to, he can use his own discretion because he's the president, especially those authority that are within his domain. So having said that, we are here tonight to discuss Liberia, to help Liberia, to build Liberia. So like, come on, guys. Thank you. Well, thanks a lot, Mikael. We appreciate you. And, um, <clears throat> you know, lots of things are happening in the country. And um, we're hoping that we can have that much time to exhaust uh, some of what we have on the plate for tonight. And, 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 and I just want to take on the conversation from here. I just want us to take on the conversation from here. Um, they, uh, ju just, just for a quick update, uh, most, as most of you are aware, there was a storm this morning in the country around uh, 4 a.m. Uh, the storm de-roofed lots of, uh, structures in the country. Uh, and, and, and one of the famous areas that was, uh, de-roofed this morning was the African Metallist Episcopal Zion University campus uh, a building on, on, on Benson Street. The entire roof of the building uh, fled and landed over the adjacent property. Good thing is that there was a pregnant woman, uh, is uh, her sister and her mother in that particular home. And uh, based on the storm and everything that was happening, the sister, who is a police officer, had 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 reminded herself about some clothes or whatever she left back, and then she thought to go out as early as that time just to get it there, get get it from there. Since in fact there was this storm, and then immediately as she stepped at the door, the roof and everything came down straight on her bed. Uh, the sister who is pregnant. Uh, she sustained, there was one of the bricks, you know, when the roof fell, some of the bricks, you know, went apart and fell on her. She had gone to get some medical attention. But the, but, but the good thing is, for that incident, there's no major casualty. The folks were all alive. But again, it takes us back to one of the issues we discussed here, uh, I think about a week or so ago about the disaster management agency, some prediction that was made about Liberia, how folks should get ready for flood and other natural disasters and stuff like that. You know, and, and the, as we see these things happening, it speaks to uh, how much of preparation our country will have to make uh, to address those kinds of issues because it's very serious and you never know who the next victim will be. Now, on the flip side, they... Um, they so the fate of forty thousand, the fate of forty thousand silver servants are at stake right now. Now, just the other day, we discussed this issue about the CSA, the Civil Service Agency, when they said that the payroll has been, you know, similar to the situation with the, the Ministry of State when Anthony Colonel Kratopa and the rest of the folks highlighted the issue about how ghost names or untraceable employees were being captured on the payroll amounting to some 2.7 million that government has to pay annually to those individuals when most of them, you can't even see them. The civil service agency is raising some serious concerns. And I'm gonna to try to get the, the release. Uh, the CSA came up with uh, uh, the civil service agency came up with this release. Uh, this circle right here. I, I don't know. Can you guys see it? Is it visible while you're in? Yeah, okay. we can see it, but the writing is so little. You can read it. Okay. So 
I just want to read uh, what's here. It says, we wish to extend our compliments and inform you that it has come to our attention that the status of over 40,000 civil servants have not been regularized from 2019 to 2023 and that the proper processing of the personnel action notices has not been adhered to. Again, let me take that uh, that portion. It says the proper proper pro, uh, processing of the personnel action notices has not been adhered to. We are therefore requesting that all heads of GOL, that's Government of Liberia, spending entities with government employees who were added on the payroll during the period of July 2019 to December 2023, and those and, and, and whose status has not been regularized by the CSA should work with their respective human resource directors to process the civil service agency, to, to proceed to the civil service agency and have their personnel action notices properly processed within a grace period of 90 days, beginning April 2 to June 30th, 2024. All human resource directors concerned are to make are to take note and provide uh, the required documentation to prevent employees affected by this situation from being uh, deleted from the payroll. If you have any question concerns, please contact your assigned civil service agency. And um, the rest of the information is right there on the screen. But what we're talking about here is 40,000 Liberians. You know, and like, like, like we discussed this issue the other day, oh, the Ministry of State for Presidential Affairs. But has it ever come to the mind of anyone as to why? Have we ever pondered on why payroll issue from one ministry to payroll issue to the other place. And, and, and this time around, the other time it was about the Ministry of State, it was supplementary payroll. But this one, they're talking about the actual CSA, the Civil Service Agency, the actual payroll from those different government ministries and agencies. Now, the, the CSA is going back <laughs> <laughs> the CSA is going back to 2019. 2019. So from July of 2019, and, and, and mind you, 2018, the 22nd of January 2018, the CDC government took over. So this cycle you saw here is going to July of 2019, just about one year after the CDC government took over. They say they are suspecting some issues from that very end. When the CDC government took over July of 2019, all the way to December of 2023, right before the, 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 the Barkhead administration took over. The people should go back and regularize their status. Why? Because they've noticed now, this is the CSA saying here, and I want us to go back to that particular portion. They notice that over 40,000 of those civil servants, those people, majority of them have not regularized their status. So here's the thing. You're talking about 40,000 people. John Brown, or let me use Francis as an example. Francis goes ahead and start to work with uh, what the ministry. Francis, which other ministry or agency I should put you to? <laughs> so let's say Francis is a civil servant. Let, 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 let not put any ministry or agency there because the man said he won't be 
in the financial area, but that's okay. But let's say Francis is a saver seven. And from 2019 up to now, you're talking about 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023. Four years. Over the period of four years, there has been no regularization of those people's status. What are some people already uh, non-existent? Maybe some people that that one is part of nature. Some people can pass off. Or there were people added. There has been absolutely no regularization. And so the CSA now is saying that they're putting hot to everything. They're going back to from 2019. The people who are not regularized and cannot prove anything, they'll be deleted from the payroll. That is, if you work for the Ministry of Education, for example, or you work for the Ministry of Labor or any of those institutions, if you cannot prove via documentation or whatsoever that you uh, you belong on that payroll, you will be deleted. At the Ministry of State, we are talking about 730 persons. But this time around, we're talking about 40 thousand Liberians. Some have seen this as, as uh, some 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 folks in the country have seen this as a way of this administration wanting to get back at the previous administration on their policy, their actions and decisions they took yesterday. Why others see this as a way of professionally in a very professional manner, cleaning up the entire system to get rid of people who are not supposed to be there and that people who are supposed to get paid, people who are actually doing the work and need to get paid can go ahead and get that paid. Now, let, let's talk about this a bit and then uh, we can make room for our next discussion. What do you guys think about this? Is this a right step in the right direction? Given the number we're talking about, 40,000. Is it worth is it worth it at this time? Is it worth it? And 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 is it a good idea for this administration to start from 2019? Is there a better way they could have done this particular thing to get rid of the that that, that negative uh image? you know, that may go along with uh, everything that's happened here. But let's start with you, Francis. I mean, uh, you see, when, when we talk about no system and people say, oh, there's system in the country, this and, and, and the order. First of all, who's supposed to prove that those people are on the payroll legally? Not the individuals themselves. It's a civil service agency that's supposed to prove. You have the record. Mm -hmm. When you when somebody apply for a job, even though we know in Liberia and now people are applying for a job, that a cousin, uncle, nephew, girlfriend, brother, sister will say that my person here hire them. But I just say they apply for the job. When they apply for the job, they present a resume or a fair application, whatever they do in Liberia. Mm -hmm. The HR department is supposed to have that record. When you hire them, then they get on the payroll. So you can't yep. ask 40,000 people to prove that they're supposed to be on payroll. You're supposed to tell them you, you are on the payroll or you are not on the payroll. Because how, how, can, how can one prove that he or she is on the payroll? Or, because in Liberia, you don't have to be on payroll as uh, evident in what uh, we learned from the executive manager or other stuff. You don't have to be on payroll to get a paycheck. Because the, um, the purple agenda said, Jeff will put a supplementary, uh, 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 in supplementary position because they want to create jobs. So you don't have to go through the proper channel to, to get on the payroll. People can just put you there and stuff like that. So it's it's, it's difficult. And I, was, I see what people will say. But 40,000 people are not just all seditions. Mm -hmm. As we all know, there are seditions that cross over to vote for unity party or other parties because they didn't appreciate what the last government did. And they maybe will go back to that party when everything is done. So th those 40,000 plus were not just all seditions. 
but I know people will want to uh, turn this thing into, instead of saying, oh, our country is losing millions on ghost employees, let's see how best the uh, payroll can be cleaned up and streamlined so that uh, we can see where the excess waste is coming from. We will all go into our different corners and say, oh, because you need the party in your office, so now they're going after CDC. If CDC were doing it, you need the party to say, CDC going after them. This is ridiculous. But we have a problem in our country where people can just bring that, walk with that brother to HR and say, oh, hire this person. Or put the person on supplementary, or, or, or supplementary or whatever, or substitute position. It's, it's crazy. So now a lot of people are going to uh, probably be out of out of jobs, mm. and now it will become a big problem. And we'll go back and say, "Oh, they're taking food from our people's table. They're not creating jobs, but they're cutting people uh, jobs." But come on now, it has to start somewhere. But I, I don't think the burden of proof is on the forty thousand plus people. All these various agencies, if they were doing the right thing, they should have records. But then also the the easier group of people that they can cut are those people that. Uh, when Judge Rea was leaving office, after he put the moratorium on, the freeze on hiring, and they still were hiring over thousands of people to the Foreign Service and all these other places, those people, you can simply just cut them off. You can, you can cut them loose. Because they were not supposed to do that. But the other people from 2019, you have to be very careful, but the agencies have to prove that they were not on the payroll legally uh, or they were supposed to be on the payroll, not the individuals themselves. Mm. Now, now, and, and this is very important, uh, Francis. Let, let's go back. Let's go back to uh, the time frame. So, they're taking this exercise from 2019 up to present, from 2019 to December 2023. Francis, is there is there uh, is there a good do you see a good uptake here? I mean, do you see this exercise as as something that is not going to be in any way for any reason interpreted as something targeted towards certain individuals given the period all right? Yes. Given the period under consideration. There's no way. Even let's just flip the script. If CDC was in charge and did that the mm. other party will, will, will have said the same was uh, the same thing okay. and that's bad that's the bad that's one of the worst things that, that's happening in our country we can never be objective when it comes to these type of things because we just look at which one, and that's the problem just where i came and promised over 100 i know 100 million 100 000 job whatever the case may be these were the jobs he was creating just plugging people in on payroll even though they're not paying those very people just plugging in there just bloating uh, the, uh, the, the the payroll and stuff like that. These are the problems. So instead of all Liberian frown upon it and say, President Brown, you shouldn't do it, and also encourage them to do it, but be professional about it, say, yes, clean up the payroll, but we'll go out of your corners and start uh, shifting. Place. Oh, he go after CDCS. If you know the party was the same way, was in the same position to say, oh, he go after you know the uh, party. This is crazy for our country. Our, this my, our way of thinking has to change. We're in the 21st century. We'll stay but but, but, but Francis, again, uh, I, 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 wanna, I, wanna, I wanna to be realistic enough about this. What do you think is responsible for that way of thinking? Is it that people just sit and from the blue sky, they want to have, they want to have that thought or are they thinking that way because uh, over the period, the country have seen things work out that way but but yeah over we've seen it since from time in memorial before we were even born that when one party take over back yeah. in the day they used to kill all the other people but uh, when the other party come over they fire everybody and bring in their own people so they don't even care if you are competent or not they will just replace you because they have their own people and i believe that's part of the problem we are having right now with, with gmb government I, I don't think that everybody that worked under uh, President Weah's government were all seditious. Even if they were seditious, right? If you if you investigate the various departments and you see somebody really did their job, it doesn't matter if they were seditious or the campaign against you or something like that. If they are co competent, keep the person in that position. But Thank we you. just come and clean house and put, bring our own people with their confusion happen. That's the problem. Thank you. Miguel, let's hear from you quickly as we transition. 
No, we shouldn't do it quite well. <clears throat> Thank you, Nelson. You know, uh, Liberia got many problems. Let's just take into consideration the finite aspect of the 40,000 people we're talking about. Every month, you got to get it for $6 million. Every, uh, 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 every, uh, uh, how do you call it? Every, every year, you got to give them 72 million dollars. In a six year period, you will give, be giving them 432 million dollars. Think about that. Think about the government, the money the government losing. And some of those people, their name is just on the, they don't even know what office they are. They don't even know what ministry they are. Santo, nothing. They just get that government check and put it in the pocket. And I'm just taking this as a ratio, as a rate of 150 you are per person. You know, some people might be making more, some people making less. Just the average. You understand? If you just pay the average, 150 US per person. Or no 40 million because I did it my without giving the ratio. You know, okay, yeah. So so assuming that the minimum wage in the country is 150 dollars Right, right, something like that. I didn't even think about it like that, but that's how I just yeah. take the Irish, you know what I mean? So something like that. Think about the money the government losing. When Ellen Johnson Sally Lair government came to power in 2006, that's exactly what Ellen then did. They went through the, 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 the CSA. Interim government, okay. Yes, and they went through the interim government list, the missing listing, and there were a lot of ghost lists. And the ministry that produced most of the ghost lists were Ministry of Education, Health Ministry, and Finance Ministry. Those three ministries have tons of people on there. Like some of them never stepped, no office door. And they, had on those, they were on those lists. And the people clear all those lists as much as they could. And Ellen Jones said he went as far as dancers and rice houses and people in the very ministry. And my family people were even vetting on that. You understand? I'm talking about the ghost list now, but the rice house and the dance house and thing. Now, if, when Joshua came to power, I think they had certain things they did acquire or uh, uh, minimizing people's salary or something like that to balance the economy. Harmonization. Harmonization that the English they use. That harmonization thing they did, they put a lot of people in poverty. And they just came and they just, I mean, flooded the whole payroll. Now, it didn't help nobody much. Because if somebody who was making $1,200, you cut them down to $400 or $600, then you bring somebody you pay them $150 or $200, what good are you doing? Just created more poverty in our country. Now, but, 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 but make your own. This process, yeah. this process, this cleanup exercise that's, that's ongoing now. Right. Is it different from the harmonization? Is, is there anything here? To, uh, is there any reason why this process should be compared to that of the harmonization that we saw with the uh the, 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 the CDC government? No, no, they got no comparison. What I'm trying to say is nothing, mm -hmm. it, it would be right for the for this government to mm -hmm. take upon their time and go through the listing ministry by ministry, government agency by government agency, because they got people in charge of all those places, they all got payroll, they all got this, they all got financial you know, institution within the institutions. Take your time, go through it, and check the list and clean those lists out. We want Liberia to be developed. Liberia will not be developed in the presence of those things happening. Giving wow. wasteful money out there, and we're thinking that the country will just, you know, imaginary something will just happen, boom, Liberia, Liberia start developing. It won't happen like that. And one thing we all got to remember as a country is nothing good in this life can easy. Everything that good can a very, very but, but, but again, 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 make it on, make it on. Yeah. Is this different from the harmonization? And, and, and there's a reason why I'm asking you this question again. Is this what? different now? Now, take for example, like you, you write the bullet. Mm -hmm. I mean, welcome to the show. It's good to have you on tonight, Master Territory. Welcome to the show. Thank but, you. But let's, let's, let's do this, right? Under the harmonization, right? The CDC government. Mm -hmm cut people money mm -hmm. and and with the promise that they're going to go to somewhere with, else. yeah with the promise that mm -hmm. they were trying to make sure that everyone who do similar work gets right. similar pay right mm -hmm. that one person is not a communication director for uh 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 uh, uh, uh this entity let's say a communication director at the ministry of finance mm -hmm. is not making ten thousand or okay so let's let's be realistic maybe three thousand 
while mm -hmm. a communication director at the National Archives is mm -hmm. making 1000 or 700 Those were the issues. And the well, CDC government came, they brought the harmonization. They said they mm -hmm. wanted to uh, bridge the gap. Okay, they rolled out the process. But then even the people who uh, were making like 500 they also got affected. Great. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then on the, the unit departed government, they're coming up with a clean up exercise. Right. This exercise is to remove yes. a particular group of people, maybe people mm -hmm. whose status have not been regularized, like in this right. case, uh, ghost names from the payroll, or like in the case of the uh, uh, Ministry of State, where um, um, uh, individuals who were on that supplementary payroll and stuff like that. Is, is there anything similar here? No, you, you know, listen, the thing about it, it oh, it is it's easy to say things, but sometimes very difficult to do. Yeah. You, you just said, CDC said the guys is working the same direct, yeah. the same position here, and making same 10, position, and then other guy working the same position, here, making three, 300 or 500 whatsoever. Yeah. But well, yeah. that was the intention, but it did not happen that way. Instead, they flooded the whole payroll. With different people, some people one position being have taken about three people to do that one job, and some of them don't even show up to work. And up to this day, we got people in America like, like on payroll in Liberia. Why is it working and making money that that checks that go into an account in Liberia? It's true. Some of those issues, let me say, those things are proving. If you rather go through that list correctly and invest people correctly, some of those people never show up nowhere. But think of an example up to this date. We still got Ministry of, of Finance about 170000 million dollars every year going to that ministry. What is so much Ministry of Finance producing for Liberia for them to get that kind Thank of money? You. Thank so, you. So, so the exercise by the, the by the uh the yes, yes. Yes. government is a good thing to do to help the country financially. We're not trying to waste on anybody, we're trying to make sure that Liberia functions well. And people who are responsible for those things to happen, for them to do a piece of job for Liberia, they are there doing it, not paying people who are sitting home, sleeping or passing all over the world, enjoying themselves, doing different jobs. But we still have to pay them because they're on the list and we cannot get rid of them. So that, Thank you. that exercise is not wishing on anybody. It's not, it's not about the CDC government, it's about Liberia. So they just put it wow. straight. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let, let's leave you there, Vasco. I want to say welcome to the show. Uh, it's, it's good to have you on tonight. Uh, uh, you know, I, I mean, you want to weigh in your thoughts on this issue because we're about to make a transition and then we give Vasco just a minute. But yeah, I came and met. Um, hey guys, how you doing? I came and met. Um, um, Mika was talking about well, what they cleaning, cleaning the roll. Is that? What the topic is okay. So the current cleanup exercise by the CSA, all right. Uh, about 40,000 civil servants uh, mm -hmm. captured in this bracket. The Black High administration is going back to um July of 2019. All civil servants who did not get to regularize their status, they said they want to clean up, they realize or they notice that. There's something smelling here. They want to go back to July of 2019. Uh, from July of 2019 to December of 2023, I, I mean, this gone December, uh, to clean up the payroll. People who did not get to regularize their status and who will not do so, their names uh, will be deleted from the payroll. We're talking about 40,000 Liberians here who are caught, uh, caught in this particular web. If they cannot prove beyond all reasonable doubts that they are civil servants and they pass through the proper channel to be on that payroll, they will be deleted. And like we said the other night, uh, I mean, a lot so, of those individuals, they mm -hmm. have families. They have families. They have people who depend on them. What's your take on this issue? It's so nothing. And I saw you the other night as well. There was you saw me? Something, as I told you. <laughs> I, told, I told you the other night that um, if something is done wrongly, mm -hmm. it has to be corrected. It doesn't matter what what's gonna be the the, the outcome as long as it's not the largest scale. It just mm -hmm. you know 
few people doing something wrong. Come on, we t we we. We all sit here and people, other people in Liberia talk about we want change. We want, we don't want the same thing being done over and over all the time. We want something different. Then other places, people want change. But anyway, I mean, they're taking it from other places, they complain about it. Why should we? I mean, if there was there's a lot of people we know in December, around November and December and stuff like that. They were flooding everywhere. Every system, like they were trying to something to pay a road to make the, to make it difficult for the new government that is coming. And they they, they said it like when it comes, it's not it's not a big deal when it comes to a cleaning road. And that was said, and people know about that. So if you 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 are saying there are a lot of people out there that are qualified. There's a process that people need to go through, right? If you didn't go through the right pro proper channel because then somebody know you or because somebody felt like they, they you that like girlfriend brother or you that like boyfriend sister or whatever and they put you somewhere, no, that can't be the norm. That can be that can be right. They have to clean it and you apply the proper way. It doesn't matter if you have here yeah, where I live, well I know what my eyes open and I started work. It doesn't work that way. You have to have a proper people were to be working with that company or whatever. You can't just show up and, and just be, and they don't have any record on you that you, you are a full-time employee or part-time employee. That doesn't work. So why should they be in Liberia? Everything should just go. And look at the question you're asking. These people, they got people they're feeding, they got something. So that means it's okay, we should leave it like that, that Liberia, anything can happen. No, we need to stop that. We need to stop uh, 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 letting bad things. I know people want to politicize it. That's okay. There's nothing you do. I don't care. Joseph Baga can pave the road with gold. They will still come here and say, you see, the other place I got hold there. How can they cover the place? They will find some fault on it. So like I said, we we elected Joseph Baga for this term, for the six years. We did not elect him for 2029 to be thinking about, oh, who's going to vote for me or who's not going to vote. Do the job that you are elected to do. Don't worry about the 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 the, the next stop, the next uh, of voting period or whatever. Do what you're supposed to do. Close your eyes and development and change. It will hurt some people. Not everybody will be happy. But at the end of the day, for the majority, as time goes on, they will see they will see that you're doing something right. Even the people like, that we always try to compare ourselves with, Nelson. Oh, look at Ghana. Oh, look at this place. Oh, you think they always had it good? You think it was always right? No, they started from somewhere. And Thank it you. was everybody was not happy. Even today, as we admiring and other people admiring them from outside, not everybody's happy. But for Thank the most for, for, for the most part, things are good. So I think that bureau will get there. And I think what needs to be done is it needs to clean the role to get on um, course. If people come and reapply and they get in the right way, of course. That, let that happen. I don't see why not. Vasco, let's hear from you. Um this process is going back to this process is going back to 2019. Immediately after the CBC government took over. Immediately, just about a year after the CDC you supported took over. That's where this process is starting from. All right? Vasco. Yeah. This exercise, do you think it's prudent at this time? And driving? If we were yeah, yeah, Vasco, that's 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 a distraction as well. Um is that a fan or something? I keep okay. hearing. Yeah, yeah, AC America. Sorry. I'm an AC, I don't like AC. Mm -hmm. I'm a country, <laughs> a country boy. I said do my love right in here. Feel it, man, feel it, man. Press not issue, I beg you. <laughs> But, but, but Vasco, man, th th this process, let, let's hear your take. The government is trying, the government says it's trying I, to clean. Are you a lover? <laughs> about 40,000. You, you see my about, last name. My man, yeah, you don't, you don't bring distraction here. <laughs> about 40,000 people we're talking about here, Vasco. The other yeah. day at the Ministry of State, we were talking about uh, 730 people. But this time around, about 40,000 people. Some people stay or some people rates being deleted from the payroll if they cannot prove how they got there. Yeah, Nelson, look, um, this is what we've been saying. These people came 
with an agenda. They came to rescue. If you have that kind of a mantra you came to power with, to rescue the people, then at this early age, or early uh, 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 time in your government, you start to get the same Liberian people on a job, then it's something that, I mean, every Liberian have to frown on it. Because during the United Party 12 years, the civil seven a uh, listing went up to almost 50,000. They took it up there to 50,000. And when the CDC came, they see what it was almost, they took it to 70. 70. I'm, I'm, I'm making a mistake here, but I stand to be corrected. They took it up to that number to 70. But when the CDC came to power, they now came with that mindset that oh because the united party were here for 12 years so now we have come we have to have some issue of their payroll something we need to get them out no they think they look what will you come somebody were in power for 12 years those people that are in power for 12 years do you know how they what they did with the civil seven or, 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 or payroll but when you 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 come in now and tell you the Labrian poll that you're going to start from 2019. That alone is just a wish on. But you know, this is the, the United Party government. They can go ahead and take almost every Labrian they want to take for government. The Labrian people themselves will have this in their own hand. It is up to them if this is the reason why they elected the United Party to come to power and try to wish on, try to make Liberia to suffer with all these kind of things happening in the country, you still going around trying to get these people on a job. You are the civil, you, the civil cell is not a political place. Let me tell you today, even the man who was heading that civil cell agency, he's not a sedition. So how can you work in a government? You're getting paid through obsistence. How your name enter that system? And you guys are the same people that control the system. The civil seven era is not political. They will let you know today. Those same civil seven used to be on radio. Last year, the government, they, they don't pay their people. They got their own system. What will you say for you go regular radio status? You got all my information in your system. When am I going to you to go regular radio status? But Rasto, yes. did they say that they were laying a, a sedition off, or they were they, because they are saying that they they the 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 so what are you if, what are, what what does the politics come in this thing here? No, let's see now. Let's see, Ami. Yeah, I if want you, you to tell me. That's why I'm Ami, listening. If you will come up with that kind of a process, as a sensible people, uh, government and know everything. Open it. Say all civil seven. You have to come and regularize your status. But you left the people who worked for 12 years. Someone they stay in civil seven. You don't tell them to come regularize the status. But only the people that came to power for doing George real time. So if you do that, what do you expect people to say? All right, but no, please. Please. I, 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 okay, guys, guys, let, let, let me come no, here. If you, no, no, if you no, do no, that, what are those hotel? people that you talking about for the past twelve years have that re that record straight? And they're only talking about people oh, who so, oh, okay. have so that record straight. Record How do you street? know but that? You see, you, see, see, you do you know that when we are look the person you guys go into? We are guys. Keen. Let's give our brother Fasco time to let him talk. Are keen, the government was broke. And you can come in. We are left the morning the CDC government left that the United Party government now left it for CDC. But it is it is we have to say. My man, give me a chance. And it think we are to say, you know what? Say we can't, we never met anything. We'll come and do this, and we'll come and do the get our people on a job. What we are dead as a sense and smart person. Mm. We came out our process, and every one of you are saying, oh, this is wrong. We keep on the harmonization. We reduce all government minister's salary. All those are making 10,000, what anyone paying 12,000, we reduce it. People are making 2,000, 3,000 in government. What we did. 
we incorporated people, even now that, that we have some health workers that were not even on payroll. We brought it in. We had teachers, we brought it in the payroll. Everybody in the United Party left there as a as, as civil servant. They met in, we met in there on the payroll. But today, look, yeah, at, yeah, look, look, at, look, at, look at what you guys are doing. You frown on so, 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 and that yeah. of the cleaning up exercise. Yes, we're talking about 40,000 persons here. But what good is it to mm -hmm. have those 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 names on the payroll captured as civil servants and every month government is paying towards those, those names when the individuals do not have their status reg regularized? What's wrong about regularizing the status, cleaning up the payroll? What exactly is it that makes this thing a, a witch hunt? No, Nelson, let me tell you one thing. The words of people you see or the regular rat startup, they identical, they gotta to talk to that civil service agency that Josiah and uh, Josiah Jogger man. Those yeah. people working government for 12 years. I mean, went over there with a mindset. Oh. I don't know. These people just angry. They just look at see this to be different group of people. Nelson, what a sense they team make. This is not solely for any, any logical person or smart person. You, are going, you, you were there, the United Party, 12 years. Okay? You employ people. You brought people on a payroll. You took that payroll. You took the civil servant to almost like a, 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 a 50,000. Citizen reached to 70,000. They added their own people, Liberians, to work. Why would you kind of say Let's start this thing from 2019. Why well, you can't just open it so people can say, okay, maybe so, 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 how, how, how wide how wide you thought the government should have opened this thing? For, for instance, you 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 injured. How wide you think the government should have opened this? Seven, uh, seven. Uh, when, when do you think that the government should seven, have seven. when you say seven sevens? What, what do open you mean? It. Just say seven seven. What's you are working with this if you've been employing no, but it's civil open to civil servants. Come, it's open to civil service. servants, even now, it's open to civil servants. No, they, or they, is they, it the no, time they say for 2019? That's it, they did for 20, the message from 2019. Yeah, for 2019, that I know. 2019. Okay, so you see that, and doing that time, they increased the civil service or, 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 or something to almost 50,000. Go ahead, check it. Thank you. It was citizen time. It went up to, to, to citizen island at 20,000 to take it to 70,000 plus. Or maybe it's just some more thousand. You know, you know, um, now let's let's do this. You just you just made mention of the 50,000 to 70,000. Um, uh, Unity Party left the number at 50,000. CDC took yes. it to 70,000, which is yeah. extra 20,000. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that information I can authenticate right now. Um, Thank you. And, 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 and stuff like that. I'll have to, I'll have to uh, verify that information. But what I do know is, what I do know is the wage bill, government wage bill, was at the United Party government left it at one, uh, 292 million 292 million now the cdc government carry on a harmonization which is cutting salaries and everything but then the cdc government left it at 322 mm -hmm. million all right <laughs> so i want to yeah. i want to find the connect here vasco and, 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 and it may be it 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 this whole thing might just be a confirmation of what you're saying. I, I may not be exact about the numbers from 50 to 70, but don't you think that is reason enough for the government to want to go into this thing and see and see how they can separate the eyeballs from the oranges to the pineapples and see who are those that are legally 
that should be legally mm -hmm. uh, employed by the government on this particular payroll. Then we move to, for instance, to interject. But, but Nelson, there is a process before anybody get into that civil cell agency. You have to go through that process. And these same people, majority of these people today that are requesting some of these things, these are the people that stay there. Only the hair, only the Josiah, I know the Josiah Joker man, they make the hair. But the same people in the system is still there. But I don't right? know the same people know exactly what's, what has been happening in the system. And that's why they're pushing for this. Because if you have been in this room, you know exactly how things work in this room. So then, Nancy, who should we blame? If you're in a system and you know very well that this system requires certain or, 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 or certain rules and regulations before getting into it, but you sat down and call it, you sat down and allow people to get into it without even voicing off anything. Okay? Because you, you Nelson, you're a journalist, you know those, the 717 boss. He was always on the radio. You don't have a feeling. You know, during the we are time, the man out there, he can't have a feeling. He, he, that place, yeah. that a political place. They say what they want to say. So how can almost 40,000 persons that were on God and 717 payroll and Thank then you. coming up to the say, how come? How these people went there? Why Thank you, you calling them? If you know very well, these people now went there the railway. Get them out. What are you calling them for? No, no, but he said so, their names will be deleted if they cannot prove how they got there. Their names already, will be deleted. Know, no, Nelson, that, that is unity. This is their government. This is the rest start for them. They can okay. go ahead. Thank and, you. So you saw the demolition process. Thank you. They can go ahead and do what they want to do. Thank it's you. Fun for them. Thank you. But Thank you very much. Uh, 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 I mean, let's take let's take uh, Francis quickly. Tw uh, Twenty seconds, Francis, uh, just to interject. Mm -hmm. So Maybe we can... that's way too much. Over I know. Too many, too many things. One, I was I just want to with Vasco. Vasco, Vasco I was quiet yeah, the whole time. So just relax. First of all, our brother, I always kind of say yeah, opposite the opposite devil, Vasco. When you talk about harmonization, harmonization was meant to save the government money. Not to create jobs. Because if, if you cut, if you want to save money, if somebody's getting paid a thousand dollars a month, you call it down to 500. But then you hire five people and pay them a hundred dollars a month. You didn't save a dime. Because at 500, you took from that person thousand dollars, you give it to five more people. But in your eyes, as a citizen, you call it job creation. That's the problem. Then, uh, 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 you, to, to, uh, to call this wish home, that means you're assuming that the 40,000 plus people that they are trying to regular, uh, find out if they are legally on the, the civil service payroll, you assume that they are all seditious, they all voted mm -hmm. for you. That is also a false uh, narrative in a in, 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 in not the, uh, the good way to look at, uh, look at things. But then you ask for, oh, they, to also prove, because that's how y'all say y'all are creating jobs. Y'all are creating jobs? Uh, just putting people on payroll with no work for them to do. How is that a good thing for the country? How you guys are serious people? Huh? The, the, look at your own uh, former minister of state for presidential affairs. This is the reason why they are coming starting from 2019. And you guys are so irresponsible that when you come on here, you say that uh, as, uh, you need to probably took it to 40,000. As a responsible government that want to balance the budget, you will do what President Parker is doing now. You guys should have done that and say, oh, there's way too many people. Let's see what's going on. Well, y'all didn't care. Y'all didn't even know what you were what doing. You have to say, oh, let's uh, create jobs. Not actual jobs, but throw people on the payroll. So now, actual minister, said, uh, as just announced it to McGill, when he opened it and met it on Spoon three days ago, saying that the purple agenda you are just poor people on payroll with no plan as to how you will pay them. So this is what led leading to this particular process. So ask yourself, how can you do that? How can a responsible government that want to balance the budget and help the country just take John Brown, Mary Paul, Peter, and everybody and just throw them on payroll, hoping that they can get money to pay to give them, but they are not performing any duty. And then function, nothing. Just sit at home. A paycheck come to them whenever there's pay. Maybe after every six or eight months, 
for yesterday I created a lot of jobs. Well, you can't see any new job that was created for a bunch of people, 20 people in one position. Come on, be serious, Thank you. man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 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 uh, I mean, let's hear you quickly, and then we, we have okay, to... so now see, I'm confused. Um, Fosco, that's why I always tell you to come on here. The election is over, we are all Liberians, and this is a government. When a government comes in, we're not talking about CDC government, this government, that government. If CDC hire people, I don't think you should be thinking that all oh, everybody because it says start from 2019, that means they are hunting CDC, unless you're telling us that. CDC never hire anybody but CDC since 2019. That's the and which they, they they said over and over again. And there's no way there would be that you just said it. You said it's a process. You said it yourself. It's a process when you get into this place. Maybe that's what the process they did not go through the process. And that's why the government now is telling you that they, they want to do this and they want to do that. They're not go some wish hunting or go something, whatever you call it, anybody. So I don't know why you keep doing the did it that time. And we just, this is a country for goodness sake. Y'all stop with that time, time thing here. Y'all should be caring about the Liberian people. What's going on? Not my time. That the other person's time. That my time. What, what is that nonsense with time, 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 time? We're talking about Liberia government. We're talking about the people. If a person is higher, the right way, we don't care who they are. What are they from? United Party, they're from Liberty Party, they're from whatever they are. Liberians, that's what you should be concerned about. Not all, oh, they did it at time. But I want the people there. Why they said it was start from 2019? Stop that. You need to stop that because we're not talking about a, 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 a CD shit and whatever. Yeah, we're talking about something be done the wrong way and, and need to be straightened out. That's what we're talking about. And you're talking about demolition today. What does a Supreme Court ruling has to do with uh, 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 the government? Uh, because uh, during we are time, there was no law and order the in the Supreme, country. And the now Supreme Court is part of the thing. government. The Supreme huh? Court is part of the government, Emmy. No. What does it have to do with Joseph Walker ruling on something? Justice oh, okay. is sitting there oh. and making a, a decision and they're carrying it out. What does that have to do with a government, the, the, the executive or whatever? What does it have to do with that? That you want to play politics out of that too? Or do you trying to tell that doing it? We are government. That there was no law and rule or law, and now it's working. Thank now, you. So it's and a bad thing. Really came during that government. Thank that you. Really Come on, man. Um, 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 uh, uh, that people uh, listening to you. The people listening to you. The people listening to you. Yeah, the people listening to you. They don't want our time. Our time. Our time. We have the Liberian people time. That's what we want. You are begging these people for food. They feed it. But today you're saying the code this, the code that. That same place you saw Josephine Davis challenging because those people lived for them for more than 20 years. Is it their land? Davis, Pastor, my you are, you are cool. not, If you had to buy a land, Pastor, for 20 years, you went back. You went back. You went back. This is a painful it's situation. It's their land. That's what I Come asked you. Who land is it? Don't speak on it. Don't speak Why did the Supreme Court because bring your weird facts? Who land so and land? Land. 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 land? They have their houses from scratch, and today they see people breaking. You know what I mean? Who land and land? 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 Who land during the election, he said that in the first hundred days of his administration, no car, absolutely no car, no keke, no motorbike, no bicycle or wheelbarrow will get stuck in the mud. Now, from the 22nd of January, in fact, there's a huge de uh, debate now as to when exactly does the 100 days start? When President Baka said in the first 100 days of his, his administration. Now, it depends on where you sit. Some of the folks in the CDC or in the opposition block says the 100 days started on January 22nd. The very day the president took the oath of office. Well, some of the folks in the unity party, the ruling establishment are saying that, look, that 100 days started... Uh, that 100 day will start after the, the government finish doing all their appointment. The government sit down, Google, they get ready to work. By the time the 100 day will start. And now it depends on where you sit. But if we are taking the January 22nd 
up until now, February 22nd, March 22nd, it's been over 60 days. We're talking about 70 days plus. We left with uh, 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 28 days to the actual 100 days that the president spoke about when he campaigned. This 100 days deliverables, are we there? Are we getting there? Or are we making progress? There's a video that surfaced. And, and, and I want to play this video, just a portion of this particular video here. Okay, from Tapeta to Zweju, the rescue team working hard. Anyway, I made no mistake for the Joseph Baka. Thank you, Baba. <laughs> so, Vasco, you saw that video. Yeah, you just watched that video. I'm putting another, another video in the chat room too. Don't just play on me. Um, uh, okay, the okay. So, so yeah, that, 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 that's a good one. If I share the video, me, the, the, the yeah, video, the, the video. one you have, share thing. with me directly. Papa, then here's yeah, the thing. I'm a, and I'm a you see, let me really see him. That, that, yeah. That particular, that, that, particular video, that particular video we just saw is this. Does this in any way guarantee? Does this pay so much? <laughs> does this in any way guarantee that the Boakai administration is on a path? To achieving the hundred days deliverable again, I will play the video. It's very short. Vasco, am I waiting your video as well? I will play your video. Yeah, okay. but this corridor, this corridor is a long. I mean, I excuse you that that uh, how you call it. They say who can say that witness? No, I, 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 but, that's, one of, that's, that's one of okay. those campaign no. videos. One of the rainy no, season no, campaign yeah, videos. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to Yeah, but let's do this. <laughs> this corridor is along the tapeta to Zweju. Tapeta to Zweju. As you see on this corridor, you see the yellow. Uh, the okay, from Tapeta to Zweju. That dirt you see on the road, the pavement, yes, the yellow machines are all there. Does this in any way settle the argument that the Unity Party 100 days deliverable? is nearing completion or is in progress now because in the midst of everything that's happening one of the key promises of the president that a lot of people clinch onto was the one about no car being stuck in the mud the first hundred days of his administration and it's on tape it's on record it has gone across the world there's no way you can grab all that tape and bring it back to pull it no you cannot do it and then, over 70 days of the 100 days, we see the yellow machine here. What we see on the screen here, in the case where the rain starts to come down, will this in any way solidify the argument that no car will get stuck in the mud? Can this withstand the rain? Vas okay, from Tapeta Vas to Reggie. And this the rescue was team green. working hard. Or is it is, is it going to further uh, 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 implicate the unity party when it comes to delivering on this aspect about not a single car being stuck in the mud? All the roles will be pliable. Let, let's start the conversation from here. Vasco, I want to start with you. Then we take Mika on, and then uh, we go to Francis, and then Emmy. <laughs> now, see, <laughs> you know, <laughs> look, campaign period is different from governing. When you do all the propaganda, or you come to governance, it's quite different. That thing a complete joke. I don't even believe that video. People can do voiceover. I can sit right here and taste on a road picture maybe five, seven years ago and do a voiceover on it and put it in the chat room. Look at it. The rules I think I think that take maybe if I jump in that road, you just show me that short place. 
if I jump in, maybe I will jump like 20 steps to get to well, well, no, 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 no. You, you, you can jump there. What? 20 steps? What's your height? What's your height? Don't say you want to jump faster. I can leave for you and go. I'm ugly. No, no, Vasco. Before we go any further, what was your height? Let's video again. Yes, she does. <laughs> see the distance. I'm like maybe, maybe 15. How was it 20, 20 long? Okay, from Tapeta to Zweju, the rescue team working hard. But, but Vasco, in the case of a real <laughs> ring, you think a ring for Nana? Yeah, well, a ring for, you think a ring for Nana? What we see down there can we stand? Uh, can we stand? Uh, this whole thing about the mud and uh, can, can it in any way save this argument about no car being stuck in the mud? Nancy, nothing. Just maybe your half day ring. That whole play mess up. That is not working on road. That's what we call it fixing road. When you want no fixing road, go to low faculty road. What job we have people go down it. And you and you see what. That road should be having crash, bro. This dude is a clown. Want to go to that no, no, I mean, let's not do that. Let's let's keep our brother time. Okay? He's mute. Kindly mute, Emmy. He's no, no problem. I'm here. I can call me again. But I'm saying the fact that I said no. If you do that kind of a thing, you trying what what the government is doing, putting that video up. It's like you play mockery all of the people that live in those places. They say if you cannot help people, don't harm them. What are they doing to those people wasting wasting mud on mud or digging mud and and acting because the sun shining now? Huh? So that's small. Look, that is terrible. Because I know that when they great all that whole play with the mud, they dig it. Mm -hmm. You see the thing to you, Nelson. That be friend. Huh? We in a no, 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 don't include me. No, no don't, 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 don't. I, I, I don't have, have an about. opinion on that. We issue. in dry season. We in a dry season. That road where you looking at a dry season road. Eh? Bring a video back. That road and dress is in road. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to bring it. We now go places, places, places. Okay. Uh, yeah, Vasco, just hold on. Let me play the video again. Let me play the video again. Okay, from Tapeta to Zweju, the rescue team working hard. Anyway, I made no mistake for the Joseph Baka. Thank you, Baba. I travel Lofa Road, one of the terrible road too. I used to be on that road up and down. Dry season. That's how the own male people in Lofa. When they greater mm. that road, you just, just say you're driving on like quarter. That like used to be. So that's what I'm looking at. Now more than something now that road and I drive. That Nima that place. I don't know which one of the area you're talking about. But that place and I mean the dry season, the greater in that road. Oh, so so you think they're putting mud. you think they putting mud on mud and and, and now what they're doing? They're digging the mud and then spraying it. Don't lie to the people. They won't get they catch you. You can't do nothing in a hundred day. Nothing that you need party comment can do in a hundred day. Thank you. Leave the raw issue. What can the people show us? What? The small, small one, and you know what I mean? Sorry, you can't declare outside you. The person ain't want to declare outside. The person declare outside. They can't post, they can't publish it. And these are the things they told us. They're the simple one and one to do. That rule, the whole community, the whole country, no, you can't do nothing with the rule. The rule part is a big law. That one, the government, are the first big law there. That one is done. So you can't please anybody or you can't come lecture all year about rule business. I want you to come and say about that rule to the people listening to you. Thank you. Thank you. And I some of your Thank you. And I some of your project that you carry on. <laughs> and if you don't, I mean, let, 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 let's, let's hear you, make it on. And, and this is important. I'm gonna play the video again. Okay, from Tapeta to Zweju, the rescue team working hard. Anyway, I made no mistake for the Joseph Baka. Thank you, Baba. Oh God, that voice over. No, no, but Vasco is saying two things. You don't believe the video, the next minute the video is a voice over. No, I think we move on. But, but, but anyway, uh, cousin Fatima, let me say welcome. Thanks I for joining us. Hi, Fatima. You. Thank you, sweetheart. You, you know, uh, uh, let's, let's, let's hear from you, Mikael. 
Mika won't go ahead. <clears throat> well, that's it. Thank you. But most of the time, <laughs> give Vasco to my time. And when we're talking with Jack Corbin, hey, don't go ahead. Yeah, yeah. No, don't be, don't be letting that dude Jack get all don't the time. Please, you don't have please, nothing. Please no, it not doesn't matter. Vasco. The thing is, you get everything wrong. We're not here to, we're not fighting you. You understand? We're here to discuss Liberia. <laughs> we're here to discuss the issue. We're here to help Liberia to move forward. That's our goal here. But yeah, Nessie, it's talk. not, every, not Nessie, but Vasco, it's not everything we have to put politics in. What politics? Yes. No, no, Vasco, Vasco, please you pretend that, brother. Can yes. you mute your microphone? I'm muted. I'm muted. Can you hear you me? Hear you. I don't see your body. Just mute me. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me have to mute you here. Yes. Okay. Vasco, it's not everything we have to put politics in or politicize it. The point is, you know, for me, I came to this we in America. Yeah, for me, this is the work I do every day. You know, before Joe Baga made those promises, at least that commencing for the fact that they even start something. Because the raw project we're talking about is not just overnight. That car will not start stick or stocking everywhere in Liberia. It, it don't work like that. Even before anybody built that road, it could be Jesus you brought from Jerusalem to be president of Liberia. Before they build that road, those process got to go on. It got different stages when you're building roads. It's not just getting there today and start throwing asphalt on the road, then tomorrow you say you build road. But guess what? Even if you throw asphalt on that road today, you come back tomorrow. If you don't do it by the stages it's supposed to go through, you come back tomorrow, that asphalt will be all the water going down or, 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 or Kavala River down the street. You don't build road like that. Now, what are people doing right now? It, it might be the first stage of building the road. First of all, get rid of the mud, find a suitable soil, go dig all the mud from other there. The second stage is bring cross rock, pull it there, they sit there, that that, 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 that ring beat it, that car roll over it for some time before you even talk about bringing asphalt and all those things to put it on that road. So if you see the people greater in the road, at least make it available for people to get from point A to point B, that doesn't mean the road have been built, or this is what Joe Baca is talking about. But this is a process. Joe Baca is going to carry on to build this road. So it, 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 this should just be a one aspect of it, just the, the, pre, the preliminary stage of building the road. So we can say, yeah. Mikael, you do, in, you do uh, these kinds of engineering works, yes. right? Mm -hmm. um, from what you see there, right? is this thing achievable? This hundred day deliverable, especially now that we're very, moving very close to the rainy season. Today is April. Well, next, next month, week. next month is gonna start raining. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Is this achievable? Is it possible yeah. for uh, the the this administration? Okay. So let's let's take the hundred days from there. Let's give them additional one month. As we speak, we have twenty eight days to the hundred days. Right. Mm -hmm. But let's give them. Um, 30 days. Is, is, is it possible for this particular road you see here that doesn't have asphalt pavement? Because even with that, that dirt we see and uh, none of that, if it were to rain today, the places will get muddy up. But how long is it going to take? Is it possible for this thing to be achievable in the next 30 days? Well, uh, let me make myself clear because this is my career. You understand? Like I said from the previous conversation, the stages of building role. Don't get that yeah. one clear out. Number one, the stage, the stage I wish Joe Bragger done working on right now, he could just say, listen, great, because the dry season library starts from October 15 to June 15, if I'm not making mistakes. So anybody can correct me for that. But that's why, you know, that's why it's supposed to be in a six-month period. Now we stay in the dry in the middle of the dry season. He might have been saying, I'm not trying to interpret what he said. He might have been saying during the dry season, we make sure we put we grade the road from here to Grand Gita or to Sano for a lead car to be able to get there before we start the project. 100 days, you cannot build no road in the wall for 100 days. It's not possible. You are giving oh, an access. No, 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 no. Mika, won't, Mika, won't you just said something. Mika, won't I mean, you just it's, said. it's just a fact. You can't build no road in the world for 100 days. I mean, come on now. It, it's not possible, especially the road. <laughs> if it is not possible, then who advised the president? No. To, to, to have well, made that statement. Like I said, the president might have been telling <laughs> he you. Said, he said all roads <laughs> will be pliable. 
Okay, so 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 let's get this right. Get it clear the now. did not say they will pave all the roads with Thank asphalt. You. He right. said the roads will be pliable and oh. no cars will get no car will get stuck in the mud. Right? right. right. And that but Mikael, you are telling us that it is not possible. Yes. For a road to be built in 30 days is not possible. Now, I mean, the kind of building I'm talking about, you're talking about paved road. Vasco, yeah, I agree about paved road. And we're talking about giving an access to where you can access places in Lemathine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Joe Bracker will probably, I, I'm not trying to quote him, but I'm thinking just from the engineering standpoint of it, you are probably mm -hmm. telling you this government will try their best in 100 days at least for the access Liberia. Not okay. like we're going to build a road, you know, with real, uh, uh, we're going to pave the road. Let me just say that. Because when engineers say pave or pave road, it comes with everything. So this is now a pave road we're talking about. Uh, we give giving access to people in the places that people cannot get there. And that's exactly what they're doing there. You're asking now if the ring okay. comes. That place don't have cross right? They're Jesse, just doing can you play the, on uh, the play the president, play the president video? Uh, uh, yeah, we will play that video, no, but let's have no, 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 You understand? By professional, you know, engineer. You understand? So this, the, you know, this is a campaign talk. <laughs> now, at least you working oh, towards okay. the promise of Liberian people. You understand? That's uh, 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 but, 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 I mean, that's commencing for... Don't you think you're you worsening the situation when you say these are campaign talks? So who you are using a campaign talk on? But, why, but, why, why? The, the point, the, no, that, that established a fact now. The fact here mm -hmm. is... They started the process. Get that straight. They started the process. The process is on. No, no, but 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 if we're going back to the, the, the comment, the comment was not we will start the process of opening the roads within 100 days. The the statement was the roads will be open and no cars will get stuck in the mud in the first hundred days. So if you try if, if you come back to say that. You will start opening the road in the first hundred days, then you're trying to twist the statement here, which is not the case. That Nancy, my thing I'm looking at here is we all know, you know, everybody on the show know that the entire Liberia, nobody can access the entire Liberia within hundreds days. We can give you an access to those places, but it's not guaranteed because it, 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 what's going on right now is it, it's just greater in the road that will go greater in the road. Making making sure you find the source that you're going to work with to build this road that you're going to put cross right on, come back and do every road and, 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 and I call it compassions and all that before you even bring before we talking about ask for coming through and all that. So, I me, mean, I don't want to listen to the political the, the, the politics side okay. of it, but I'm looking at okay. the aspect and the reality of what could happen before that road be built. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, uh, let, let, let's hear from you, um, Francis. I want to. I want to get this clip here before. Uh, maybe after Francis, I will get this clip. Play this clip again, so our folks can hear exactly what the president said. But go ahead, Vasco. Uh, sorry, not Vasco, but uh, Francis. Yeah, the president said no. Within the first hundred days, no car will get stuck in the mud. That is not uh, achievable in this first hundred days, as we can clearly see from that video. If a heavy downpour or rain cars will get stuck on that particular road. The issue here, our brothers from the Sakamo tree, they don't care about the, about the Liberian people. It's, it's like childish game. Oh, you know that thing is called put there, you know, put there, when you're, little, when you're small, you choose a friend, tap them about put there, you're running away. That's why they won't do it. They don't care about what happened to the Liberian people. His president, I mean, our former president said he was bad road medicine. But he was actually buy medicine for road. All the road is the bragging about what continue or com continuation of what uh, the, the previous administration started. They didn't start any brand new project and, and complete that road. But I'm not even going to dwell on it because the, uh, that's the, that won't be the, 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 the issue right now. President Barack needs to continue doing what he's doing. They need to continue working on the road because that road I'm looking at is scary. I scared of that road myself. I mean, I left Liberia as a kid. You, I know you, 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 you mean you scale the road? You yeah, that road low. I mean, except for a highway, imagine getting stuck over there, a car breaking down on that road. Imagine that you're traveling 
and your car break down on in the road. middle of the night. In the middle of the night. That's what I'm, I'm not even. I don't even care about uh, uh, um, all the the promises, this and the other. But that particular road, look at the, the forest on both sides, and you get stuck in this mud. When we that thing was turning to potter potter. I'm not lying to you. So, so Francis, Francis, are you saying here? <laughs> are you saying here that the hundred days you, mm -hmm. Francis Jabati? Who came on this platform? You sat here, you campaigned for several months. You assured Liberians of all the possibilities. Are you saying here, in the public manner, on the same platform that you conveyed the message that the hundred days is not achievable anymore based on all of your observations so far? What I'm saying to the Liberian people is that by the end of this pre uh, uh, presidency, President Barker will not tell the people of Southeast that he couldn't pave the road, that pregnant uh, women die in ambulance stuck in the mud because he, uh, uh, of the dry season, the six more of dry season and six more rain season. He will not tell them that like George Ray won a campaign to them and told them he didn't fix the road because of the six more rain season, forgetting to do a perfect key math knowing that he was there for five over five years there's dry season and rain season every year he could have taken two or three dry seasons to fix the road to the southeast i can Thank assure you that president Barker not tell the people of southeast that he will not even tell the nation that because by the time his term is over the roads will be uh, pliable rain or dry season because i remember i was a kid but I, people never used to complain before the war now those roads were paid with asphalt but people used to drive there because popular wanted to maintain the road. So by the time the, the president is leaving office or his, this term is over, the road will be will not have to go through Africa Coast to get into the southeast, like what our Thank people you. were going through in that disgrace of this past government. So the person can say whatever they want to say that maybe it was an embarrassment as well when it comes to road. So he shouldn't even be talking here about road. He went and photoshopped himself standing in the mud during campaign time, and his sneakers was not even dirty. But he wants to believe that he walked in the mud. They had to shame him because he flew in helicopter to the southeast. They had to shame him before he decided to take photoshop himself standing in the picture with nice blue sneakers. It was not even dirty on any side, so he was standing in the mud. So Vasco, don't talk here. You know. Don't talk here, bro, about road. We understand what's going on here. Our people will get what they deserve. You know, uh, Vasco, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get your video on. But the video, they turned to telling me that the video was published, Vasco. But anyway, let me get your video on. Just before. I'm I you that was an old video. Va Va Vasco, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, see yeah, the mud in the rainy season. You see the mud. Then you want to compare it to today. I don't no, get no, it. No, 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 guys, guys, wait. I, I'm about to play Vasco's video. So, Vasco, before I play the video, tell us a bit about this video before I play it. Because <laughs> Emmy will come, Emmy will take us to the phone lines. Why you know about the video that you want me to play? No, no, wait, let me unmute you. Okay. But I thought you said you, you were not seeing the mute button. How can you carry your hands? Oh, no, I, I saw it. Later on, it went down. I don't know the writing was going on the screen. <laughs> but it's up now. <laughs> okay. So, Vasco, Vasco, tell us about yeah. this video that we're about to play. What, what, what do you know about this video? When was that it? Video. When was it? Yeah. Man, I, what I saw right now was five days ago. Ah. Five days ago. Where he got it from? Did he no. carry from someone who posted it five days ago? He said hey, that five man. days ago. But, but, okay, so I, I, I know like, that you're on the road. You're not, not, doing you're not even on the road, but you say you can jump to the plane and put on a pin. You didn't even know the voice over video. video yet. I'm taking video of <laughs> the man that's driving you. What is wrong with voice over video? I keep okay. hearing you what talking about that. What's wrong with it? Video. No, nobody can tell me that I play that video up on the. Okay, so that is only thing you tell us about this video, right? Before anybody talking in a video, let's see the player get no fake video, eh? The person are talking if you don't see them, the video fake. Oh my god, 
How about the person not talking being the one holding the camera? That's the way that Vasco will let me How about the person not talking is the one holding the camera, Vasco? Seriously? <laughs> how you know that? Oh you know my that? goodness. How do you Dude, know that? No, no. Vasco, I didn't see the camera right right now. I know that. You're not seeing the camera. That man had the camera and he caught the voice over and caught the camera. Vasco, Vasco, can you, can you, can you give us time to play a video? Vasco. Okay, thank you. Yeah, me give you a chance. That video is sending for an email counting. So, you see the main Vasco, you, you, wanna, you, you, you wanna give us information while the video is going on? Yeah, you wanna give us some voiceover? <laughs> uh, yeah, I wanna say the, according to the, the man, man according to the driver in the car. Mm -hmm. According to the driver in the car, this well, what's the, the name of the driver? The the and I'm doing voiceover. Well, how can we get here? No, the I don't know the name of the driver. I don't know. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, that's not clear, my man. You come and see the man, man. I can step it. You see, no, wait now. That is man in the car. You see the man getting that? But that's not the name video. video. Now, I think why you show it. Now, what the <laughs> okay. I, I don't know what the rationale right. behind the video. You need Jesus, Vasco. No, 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 no. We, we gotta give Vasco the benefit the of what, the doubt. What, 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 no, no, but, but Vasco. So, this the portion now, what, 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 what about this? Seven part of Nima. Which part of Nima County is this? Merci. Yeah, I mean, the good thing is that Vasco provided a video fake video. Which video is fake? We they want we show her own video. Okay, from Tapeta to Zweju, the rescue team working hard. They made video anyway, I made no mistake for the Joseph Baka. So Vasco, the man holding the camera this, and right? talking, let, let, holding let the voice this. over. Let me, let me say this. Let me say this. What what is this? You need Jesus. For the you need double dose. Of no, Jesus guys, Christ. Guys, I'm, I'm coming. I mean, we're about to go to the phone lines. No, and but we'll I didn't say anything yet. You can't no, pass all the time. We'll, 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 we'll go to the phone lines, but uh, Emmy, we're coming to you next before going to the phone no, lines. I but for the, sake, for the sake of this uh, platform, right? A lot of people listen here, not just something, but they want to get educated as well. So, the first thing is that Vasco, not all voiceover videos are fake videos. In fact, voiceover are used to enhance the whole information uh, dissemination about the video storytelling voiceover is very essential in that aspect right so you if if, if you were to compare the two videos the first one the man just no no I'm, I'm coming out for your video right the man here the camera yeah he's not saying anything he's not telling us where he's streaming from or where he's shooting from what exactly is uh the object or the, the the message you want to send out as a result of that video what is his message he's not saying anything the, the stuff is just focusing on the road to a point where the driver just back the vehicle the guy is still sitting inside the car with the camera whether it is it is the jerry canes in the stuff that he was trying to uh, uh, showcase or you know, and time. stuff like that. So, so the point I want to make is that voiceover is an essential component of storytelling. It helps That's your audience I mean. to know exactly what you, what your message is, what is it that you want to tell them as a result of that video that you're shooting. In fact, it is used most times when, when, when you're streaming in an environment or you're recording in an environment where you don't have good audio quality. Just do your video. You can come back, sit yeah. down, and be able to send the exact message. Say this about that. What, all the, all the things you capture in, the, in your exact message you intend to send. But um, again, but I respect your view, Vasco. 
I'm just yes. saying what I know about these. And, uh, and Nelson, but Nelson, that's not even what? a voiceover. Nelson, if that, that, that video is not even a voiceover. You the know? cameraman what? What? was the one I talked to. It wasn't a, even a voiceover. The last time I came here again, I said something. Fasco, your 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 internet sticking. I mean, I mean, you want to give us the full line? No, no, you apologize. No, no, you say apologize for what? I'm telling you now, that place. If that era name, if that era name is mentioned, then Nessie called there tomorrow and find out if there is any work going on on our roof. Okay. And you'll come by oh, so, so, yes. so, so the guy said is around the top. Then, and you know the, the, the interesting thing is that is why you're yeah, yeah, guys. Let's do this now. Let's do this. Nelson, the interesting thing is Nelson, that the interesting Nelson, thing is that we have, we have we have the interesting the thing is that public work. I just want to say if the government making progress on road, that Ministry of Public Work will come out and let or know. Then I'm just somebody go stay and do voice over, maybe that Guinea, Guinea, Guinea Highway picture. Thank you. 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 And I have my time now. Thank you. Thank because you, I'm Vasco. Here, let's let's there. let's allow Emmy to uh make us uh make, make her point and we go to the phone lines. First of all, Nelson, that that video was in a voiceover. I think we all saw that the cameraman was holding something and he was talking. And even if it was a voiceover, there's nothing wrong with a voiceover. That's number one. Number two, Vasco was out of words, he didn't even know what to say. When he saw that video, he just going up and down. It's not real. It, 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 it. Everything I told you, Nelson, even if Joseph Boga paved the road with gold, Vasco don't find a hole in it. They will find something to say. Everything is politics to them. It's never about Liberia and the people. Okay? So, first of all, Joe Boga did not say the entire Liberia he was going to fix the road. He said a major road in a has problem going to the southeast area then person in a half problem. No car will get stuck in the mall in the first hundred days. That's why he never said the entire library would be paid for a quota or whatever. I know Vasco telling us that when it, when you go, just take the quota and start spraying it over the grass and everything. And that's how you build road. People, you know, shouldn't grill it. Shouldn't you grill it? Something wrong with it. So he, you should just take the, the bushes, just take the quota and just start spraying it in the bushes. And that's how you make road. But no, Vasco, you have an engineer that already not tell you. I'm not even an engineer, but I know better to, to, to know that you're just supposed to go and not grill the roll and just start spraying whatever on it. No, it's a step that you have to take. And that's what is going on. And it's had major roles. So everything is not, I told you, everything don't have to. Be. Let me tell you, some of us on this platform, there will come a time. Everyone on the platform, well, me, let me tell you, there will come a time that will criticize this government. And, but the time is not now. Let me tell you it. Because right now, I don't think I don't think I'm seeing anything tangible for me. To, they just started, so I'm not gonna even go there right now. But when it comes to time that they're doing things that I I know they promise not to do and stuff, them trust me. This is about Liberia for some of us. Some of you is about oh our time, our party, doing their time, our party, our days. No, that's not what it is about. Some of us is about Liberia. We want to go home. We care for our country. I don't care who did it. I wish we all were, was the one that did it, but he didn't. Okay? So it's not about who done it, who time is it, who does No, it doesn't matter to me. So you come in every time, you mean you see progress, you want to criticize. Why? Because it's not George Weir. You see that one yet? You want to criticize because it's not George Weir. You come in showing us Brandy's CC video. I need my time. You showing us Brandy's CC video where the cars getting stuck in the mud. You say you, you showing it to us now. What is the essence? The essence of that we don't understand it. It was like that. We are never did anything with it. They make him. He said he would do something. I'm guarantee you there is no budget that has been passed. Nothing. There was no money left in there. You came here telling the people we left money there. Any left hundred million dollar. That's what she said. What did you leave in the caucus? Nothing. There's nothing to work with. You can make all the promises you want during the campaign. If you come and you don't have anything to work with, that campaign promise is not going to be fulfilled until you start to raise money. I keep telling you, he's not going to use rocks to build those roads, Fasco. It takes money. It takes resources. So you, it's about game. It's about politics. 
but the Liberian people understand what's going on. They see everything. We see other things that are going on. You don't want to talk about it. All you want to come at if you talking about oh an asset recovery, I all did one yet, oh well, building wall. But there has things that are going on. There was nobody cleaning the street of Morovia. It has been done now. We don't see any more zombies in the street that push drugs uh, 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 killing people. We're not seeing that anymore. Okay, the DEN is working. There are little things that are going on that we never saw in the past two years, two months ago. We've never seen that. It is happening. And they don't even have a budget yet to work with. You should give them some credit and stop being so much political and stop being, oh my, we are my, we are. It's not about George Weir. It's about Liberia. When y'all, I know it's all about Weir. Even Weir Rob, you they tell you Weir lie on asset recovery something. I mean, on, on, on asset declaration, you can't tell you. Y'all will celebrate. And you here doing double, double to support your family. But as long as Weir is lying to you and suddenly you'll be celebrating that he's stealing from you. That is sick. And we need to get out of that mindset, get out of that party mindset and think about your country. That's what Thank I got to say to you right now. Thank you. Let's go to the phone lines. Uh... And uh, take some calls, zero triple five one zero one zero seven five. Uh, let me put the the, the number up, and uh, the folks can call in. Please, you don't call for Vasco. You call for the issue. Yeah, please call for the issue. Let's take our first call here. Hello, you're live. Your name and where you call from. Good morning. Yes, go ahead. I'm still going to call from Ganta. From Ganta, Nima County. Yes, yeah, you're going to get calling okay. from Nima County. Say, going to get calling from Ganta, Nima County. Say, let me, let me, let me, ask you this. let me ask you this question here. Um, when last did you go to Tapeta? Did you use the Tapeta as well? You uh, outside there, the Tapeta, the road from, from Tapeta in Nima County to Zweju. When was the last time you used that corridor? I never went. Where the my mother, on that side. I tell her I to call this morning and listen to some of the guys listen to the show. Okay. But so where our brother talking in there, from the other side for me, I'm not in the department, I'm in the party. Okay. But I was in the middle of the party, but the reason we see on that video is a regular brain. So I don't know what yeah, we're, we're being going on. The, the, no, 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 no. Come in. Let, let's do it one at a time. Uh, the work, the video we just played is the work that's going on along that corridor, right? Is that what you say? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So since when that work been going, when, 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 when did you first take notice of the work uh, that's going on along that corridor? Oh, uh, because I was in Canton. Mm hmm and we said that the two machines passing through counter will later on to so start with the program we want to have a way to start going the road. But if it's not the problem with the green road in the first place, you have to, the second clay, then you can put on the other clay. You have to take it on and put a number, grab a rack, mm -hmm. and bring the compact and compact the little OTC you to do it in your period. So, you we don't live your kind of But actually, you don't get a committee, you don't do that thing. I mean, the way you sound it, you need a party mail, so you're not, you're not saying anything about that thing. Because you say, you just saw, you just hear yes, say, the, the greater are passing, you're going to pay uh, the road and all. Oh, uh, uh, uh. I don't want to leave the greater. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> I let you wait, man. Ask a question. I don't want to leave the great. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> Let's take this person here. Hello, you're live. Your name and where you come from. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello, uh, panelists. Uh, this is Elijah calling from Minnesota. Okay, Elijah. Right. Yes, sir. We're okay. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to uh, the already deliverable mm -hmm. uh, according to the rules of uh, what uh, GLD were talking about. Yeah, it was it was all centered around road maintenance. Hmm. Ah, so you are not talking about hello? You stay on the line? 
access. Uh, that's, a, that's a key word. Get access to places. Okay, so let's see if we can take another person here. Uh, there seems to be an issue with that. Hello, you're live. You're in where you call from. Yes, hello. How you doing? It's good to have you on, sir. We okay. Let's hear you. Yes, I got three comments to me. Nice. Oh, thank you. Your name firstly and where you're calling from, sir. Oh, my name is Emmanuel Mo, calling for uh, Virginia, United States of America. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, uh, I want to, you know, Nancy, thank you for the show, first of all. Mm. But you see, I think so, everybody in the studio there, they are already playing politics, especially the guy that called his uh, engineer in that studio. Oh. How dare he tell our president that what our president say he don't know, but he know that he talk that what the president mean. But how dare he? Amen. Okay. No, no, no. Me, 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 please give the caller a chance. Uh, yes, he's just going to be here for less than a minute, and then you have the rest of the time. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Emmanuel Mo. Yeah, you know, the reason I'm saying that, mm. he's saying that, he talk that the president mean this. He and the president who been into president, who been into power, would know what he to say. Number one. And but but, but don't asshole. you think, don't you think it's coming from the backdrop that the president is not an engineer? And this gentleman the here being an engineer knows the, knows the technical details as compared to the president who may, may be just look at it from, um, you know, from the surface. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not bad to, uh, no one knows everything. And uh, let me put it that way. Hey, no one knows everything that is true. But mm. you know, you know, the problem about politics, making issue with politics is a problem. You know, the guy, they, 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 if you try to, you know, the simple question to ask, Hello? Yeah, yeah. The simple question you ask, and they can leave the question at all and start talking about politics. They were accused the other person talking politics. The other one were accused the other one talking politics. And every one of them talking politics. The question, the simple question is the what our president say. They able to meet the teller. Yes or no? So so what, where where, where do you stand? What do you think? What do you think? What do you ask the okay. Liberian thing? Okay, what I'm saying here is that was election uh, uh, uh election was going on. Mm -hmm. If the president come or he say, Oh, within hundred days, I will make sure that no car is in the mud. Mm -hmm. In the mud. And now when you're wasting a jack over there and car going to hitch there. Look at the statement and look at what going to happen over there. You know, the second uh, so, uh, person that talked, I rather enjoy his talk. He moved politics that he said the fact before he get into the politics. So tell me, if you get a guy job in Liberia, and I hear everybody can just be saying, I'm talking about Liberian people, I'm talking about Liberian people. That how you can talk about Liberian people? I know. I, it's just confusing. Okay. That's like my point. Okay. And let me make an appeal to our president, Joseph Wakai. Oh, Joseph Wakai, please, if you listen to your excellency, and I really want for you to please look at the disabled issue in our country. I beg you, president, okay. the disabled have been left behind so many times, and they are suffering in our country. Thank you. Please, president. Thank you. Blind Thank you. In that Thank you. Thank you very much, Emmanuel Mo. I appreciate you. And um, let's see if Emmanuel Mo is playing politics. He didn't answer the question. In, in, in this, uh, let's see if we can speak. <laughs> yes, 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 your name and, and where you call from. Let's hear you. Hey, nice. Thing. How you doing? Yeah. How are you, brother? Yeah, it's good to have you. Um, on. Yeah. Good. But, um, this is Harry, and thanks to you for the show, and thanks to your panel once again. Um, the other thing, I, I think, again, we uh, we are making more great of ourselves. Look, even if the president said that 100 days, it is liable for someone to think that 
you can address the issue of infrastructure in Liberia for 100 days. Roles, Liberia, all the roles in Liberia are missing. There's no way you can, no way. Even going through from Monrovia, Wagner, or maybe Neymar Highway, there's nothing that you can boast of. So we got to really start fresh. The rules building is the major aspect of infrastructure. We got a long way to go. Not even the next three, four years. We can only pray that that our government will come to power, that the leader will be serious to tackle at least these things. Maybe you can say letter civil or just do something so that when the next government comes to power, they can take it from there. But the issue of library is over the last 40 years. Everything is damaged. You can't find nothing that you can that you can boast of. We know nothing. where to be found. So maybe he was when he said 100 days, he's talking about a lot of things. Okay. That you know when put the government in a structure, put the structure together. That if if, if I come to Liberia now, I want to see where the pen pen boards are gone. No pen pen boards are in the traffic. Well, maybe they're gone somewhere. Or the, 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 the traffic, where nobody running through the traffic light. Those are the little things that look at 100 days. That would tell me, that would give me the assurance that we're moving somewhere in the right direction. So the you. issue of roads, electricity, and water, those are major infrastructure issues that will go beyond the spend of the next six or even more years. With, 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 look at that stuff I saw in Ghana. You call that the road? That's not road. So they just try to put something in the, in the structure, the better structure to begin with. Then my brother said over there, or oh boy, you said over there. Thank you. That's how we should. So, so, so I mean, my brother, uh, uh, um, uh, Vasco, we, 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 got, we got to be worried about Liberia. Let us start joking here. We Thank should be you. worried that we are the least country around West Africa, so to speak. I said that. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Nice. Yeah. Thanks a whole lot for your contribution. <laughs> Yeah. From yeah, go ahead. Let's hear you. Uh, my first point has to do with the civil servant this thing. Your, your, studio, your, 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 one of your panel there is making an argument that there were 50,000 on a unity party, city seeking and uh, carrying to 70,000. You turn around, you see, 40,000 people have been downside, and those 40,000 people who are fifth, they are. They are all seditions. What by the my there? 50 and 70. So he's trying to, he just me all to understand that you have to party 50 plus 50, 40, that 90,000 persons that you have there. And 90,000 instead of 70,000. No, maybe, maybe that like you're not understanding the main marvel. That, that map, I think that map for you, map that you're not understanding the main marvel. That you're not so you say well, that's right. that's right. that mm. If you have to have 50 percent employed, 50,000 mm. employed, you say you have a, 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 a report 20 there. So he came, he's seen now, he's making an argument that that 40,000 are all division. Meaning that that 50,000 is the same way they did it 16 billion in the country. Let me go to the room. <laughs> when, let me go to the room. We got 72 days. You just admitted, you just admitted yeah. that 28 days ago. Yeah. How many situations have come up? Opposition have come up to even you put petrol or videos or stars that have stuck in the mud. And you over there. Up to now, you have not identified nothing. So you got to start making that, you got to start checking for cars that stuck in the mud okay. for tomorrow. Because we already got 72 percent. Thank you. Oh, you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. I thought it's not right. You're lying. Uh, let's squeeze in this person. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yes, you're alive. Your name and where you call from. Good morning. My name is Edna Lacolin from Margibi County. Yeah. Your name, Edwin? Edwin. Edwin? Agnes, Agnes. Oh, Agnes. Agnes. Okay, Agnes. Agnes, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my brother, don't tell me you're talking about day 7 7 Billy. The problem about A is that when the people came to power, all the people that are working on it in the industry, mm -hmm. they were making government to pay them. Instead of they pay them, they were when, when, when people pay, came to power? When, when who people came to power? When the CDC came to power. Okay. Yes. 
All the two are in that address, office there. Let's go to pay them, but they're not paid them. Look, here, when the people there, our who who are teaching, all on the feed there, 40 people salary down, to satisfy the people that were uh, put in the, in the uh, zero offices. Then mm -hmm. I pay the ticket, but I'm not happy. Then the people do the thing, they wrap the people, then they go there. Now I know where we from. Okay. Yeah, my brother. Thank you, my man. They suffer all too much. Oh. My life, I think our salary will increase. But now they say the people are for the old FST. Thank you, mama. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take the last two calls, this one, and another call. Hello. Uh, good morning. Morning. You're live. Your name and where you call from. Okay, thank you. Oh, this is Ben Jasa, coming from Papakawa. Okay. Ben Jasa, let's hear you. Uh, thank you. Oh, well, I want to speak to the issue that have to do with the rule. Yeah. No, I just came from on a start two years ago now. Mm -hmm. From which side? I'm my show video that I had to do with a car in the morning. Maybe it's on that road to be friends. You came from which side? Which side you came from? I used, when I was going, I used the road set. Ah, but what not the road set road is showing. That, that tap it out to Zwedju road, the, the, the people are showing here. Oh, no, I don't think so. Why you not think so? Okay, there's no mean. Uh, the people are there, they wrote their compiling the road. Mm -hmm. And they have people who have made this kind of time. It's not that even the road is always stuck. He's there uh, all the way beyond uh, River G. What is there? Or could come to the border way there. Mm -hmm. From Rwaji to Kanto, Zwedji, that around there. So that they kind of time now. But it's not between Tabata and friend. Ah, okay. okay. You get me? Even when I was coming with you, from from Rwaji, from Rwaji, from Pikano, from Rwaji, they were very peaceful. We were very peaceful. But then from Kilo Kawaki, to come all the way to the point where they were very peaceful. So I don't even know where the machine was, they were very peaceful. So I don't even know what. I have been taking a video from the different end. So they always, you know, they said that President, we are what they borrow menacing, but you forget to know that. He will do two million, 24 million because the borrow contains in the Sahib, but he was the you know, borrow menacing. No test enter in the Sahib. They were 12 years. No test enter. He born in the Antoine Asa. So it's been at the whole six years. Thank you. Get me? Thank you. Thank you. Let, 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 let's hold you there and take the final call here from this line. Hello, you're live. Your name and where you call from? Hello. Yeah, hello. Please go ahead. You're live. Yeah, uh, my name is Prince PC Colum Jr. and I call you guys from Texas. Okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll just make quick two uh, points and then I'll be done with it. Mm -hmm. So one, uh, we shouldn't be we shouldn't be in a position to always change the goalposts, right? When I say this, I say this to say, hey. Joseph Walker said there will, there will be no car stock in the mud. No, we are not in rainy season yet. We should wait until we get in rainy season. If a car is stuck in the mud, then we can question the president. But for us to be on this show and trying to question the president's decision or his statement he made, then it will be wrong. Okay. We are not in a rainy season. We ain't seen cars getting stuck right now. So let's just wait and see until we hit the rainy season. And then we can judge from that. We can't sit, most of us sit in America over here. Nobody, nobody on the show have gone to any other roads to do inspection. But we get here sitting and talking. So okay. let's wait until we hear the rainy season. We all will go on Facebook. We all will see the video. And we all will know whether a car got stuck or car is not stuck. So let's just wait and see. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, thank uh, you. That's, thanks that's a lot. Point. Yes, thanks a lot for your yes, input. Um, <laughs> thanks a lot for your input. Good morning, Desmond. Okay, you are final caller. Quickly, please, please go ahead. Uh, my name is Sansi Kawi Topa, calling from District Number Four. Kawi Topa, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the opportunity given me this morning. Or oh, I want to tell the opposition of the uh, President Joseph Nima Guaka, the hundred day that he told about, oh, we are already in a 72 day. But then, uh, the President has make it new uh, to the zero area then a bar. He has he 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 give the contractor then they, 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 they go ahead. Yeah. He has he he uh, 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 distributed 10 contractors here. They are already going to the zero zero area. Then they have started the work from there to start coming. So I don't know what they are crying. 
they were there, they were not able to do it, and we, we, we just did, we, 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 we just a three more old, and we try to do our best what we are doing, and the old man will deliver Liberia to the best of the single thing. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you, thank you. I mean, the man, the man is not a prophet. He's not a prophet. Oh, he's, 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 he's speaking the word. You have to say amen. Yeah, but but anyway, uh, um, I don't I care what y'all do. Vasco will go bring this yellow video for instead of. But 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 it's 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 very important. Uh, the colors have made their imports. Let's let's do our closing. Vasco, let's start with you, and then uh, we take Mikael on, Francis, and Amy will take us home. Your closing. Uh, thank you, Nelson. I mean, you know, to my colors, it is. Your right to come here and say what you want to say, and you know, and nobody going to beat you or say anything to you based on what you say. But I will tell you, for what I'm looking at, eh? mm -hmm. Joseph mm -hmm. Baca, President Joseph Baca, will be the, one of the worst presidents Liberia ever produced. So what are you looking at? That's not rebuke your mouth. Nelson, from everywhere, mm -hmm. because the manner informed these people. Starting. Look, they say when the Christmas will be cool, you know, from the eve. The entire country, look at the country. They break tomorrow, everybody they're complaining. The whole country, everybody they're complaining. Stable mm. seven, can't they pay? People house are just burning. The other fire, we haven't seen it before. Last night, there was on usual storm in a dry season. <laughs> on usual storm came to this country, it just damaged. Ohio, people there. even lost their life yesterday. Well, I'm gonna read again. I mean, we're in dry season. I know I've been living like a dry season. We don't experience that kind of a storm. I know y'all they were making climate change, but it's happening on Joseph Walker. Everything Walker said, and let what he said, my brother Miguel, you know, for a leader to laugh is terrible. That statement that came from the president that he will make sure no car is in the month in the first hundred days, that is a big lie. I don't know. I want you to go back again. Somebody down the president just had an interview. He changed everything he said. He went to BBC, let me say uh, uh, how you call it uh, VOA. They asked the question, why President Barker don't want to declare ask and we say or uh, publish his assets. And this other thing, if this man want to come and start to do this thing the right way, then we say yes. And let me tell you today, no president since the war that have built or constructed more roads, more hospital than President Weir. I dare you. Nobody. So, so, so how, how, how many no kilometers no of road did no president, how many kilometers no of road did president we have built no, and um, no, how many no, hospitals no, did he build? No, no, let's start with the kilometers of, of road. How, how many kilometers of road did president we have built? Nelson, I got, let's see, I'm a politician, right? If I don't have <laughs> So, so, I can tell you when I will you know, you know, you know, you know, know, you 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 Constructed or built, I will tell you. Okay. So you want to talk about road? The low far road. The president coming from? Go and see that road today. President, we have took that road yeah. to Salai. Yeah. You know that, 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 that corridor is one of the is, is one go of the see, best go, roads go, go, we have. Uh, I, I go I see, go see. Come and stop. You stop, stop the road. You stop the road to. You stop the road to Ganta. <laughs> you stop the road to Ganta. President, we have took the road from Ganta to Sunny Quarter. The road is going almost to the border. So don't don't talk about rule. Your back haven't done anything when it comes to rule. So if you come out, you, think, oh, you guys are very disingenuous to bring that video all year to the you get that video to Nelson. For Nelson to bring up more than royal. What public and your ministry of public will even say anything about facing any rule. 
de lasa ye wen to o o pecho pa ke wono to o o me shin pecho to in the president town when president where go rova kando no shin na wo to work on the go no picture now. We already have our possession. Y'all took it and put it on Facebook. How president? How president Baka said, "You don't even get one machine. The people die. We all said it. Thank you, but you don't get no how they call the machine to come and take the people all of that money. Then that 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 car that so you get no water truck in the whole country. Thank you, Vasco. Then that 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 machine that will face blow you got. Vasco, that's all you did. You know you're indicting we are, right? You just left one day. You need me all the things that we don't have in the country. You know you're indicting your man, right? Well, let me make one thing clear. Vasco, yeah, the must say the we are no hundred. The how can you feel? No, 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 guys, no. Vasco, Vasco, you just had you just had 30 minutes to speak. You spoke for 30 minutes. I mean, I was trying to respond to all. Let me finish, bro. But go ahead. Um Let's hear you, Pinkel. Well, well, let me make one thing clear. Vasco just make a make mention of something that I did not say. I didn't say the president lied. I didn't say that. I was speaking from what I know standpoint. And number two, they are called. I just call. I, I guess you got problem with understanding English. We are not English people, but the certain thing that you, when somebody says something you don't understand, you gotta ask questions. I don't know where you're coming from with all that. I want to school in America. I'm an engineer. I mean, I got a boast of that. That's, that's my degree. You don't know what I'm speaking for. Thank you for responding to me, Nessie. But the point is, what I was saying, I said the president will probably say will be able to access more part of Liberia in the first hundred days. But what you myself looking at on that road was just something that they're trying to access maybe Grand Gita to go into this side east part of Liberia. But come rainy season, that road would not be like that. That's a clear thing that all of us know. From any standpoint, you come from in the, in, in the light. You got to be an engineer to figure that out. But the president, at least, he started what he promised the Liberian people. That's the key thing we got to take from the thing. He started what he promised the Liberian people. What are you going to be there for 100 years or for one day or for 10 days? At least he started in that road. And he's gonna do better, and we all know that. So nobody should call you and say, I said this, I said that. No, I'm not condemning the president. The president make a hundred day promise, and he's living by it. Liberia getting better in the hundred day that drugs people being arrested all over the country. That you know, you know, Google appointment is going on, and more educated people being appointed to lucrative positions. We all know that. Yeah, things are getting there. Hundred days is not six years, they may got six years to go. So there are a lot of good things that is coming on that will be done. But the world aspect of it, we all know those roads need to be built. Nancy, don't call me up, please. Let me say something. That, for example, we're talking about 40,000 people being on a ghost list or they're not supposed to be in the they, government. They, they're not really on ghost list, but uh, they are seven sevens. That... Well, they are seven seven, but most of the job they do is 10 people in one Rick. position. Yeah, You understand? And I just did a mafia, 150, 150 that per month. That money is $432 million for six years. That $432 million, if you bang the road, Jeff, and that's Zedru, let me say from Tapetan to go to the southeast part of Liberia, we will cover almost the whole of southeast because of that road is more than 400 miles. And each mile of road at least is cost about a million dollars. And think about 432. So no development in this world or no good things in the light can easy. Getting rid of those people who are not properly on government list and putting that money into the economy, these are the things that will help Liberia. We will say you all day with the world want to take in Liberia cannot progress in a proper way. That country will always be where it is, and we'll say you tough another judgment. Day. It will never change. Somebody gotta close their ear and close their mind and do the right thing for that country to develop. For one fact, is there's a good road all over Liberia. Guess what? That economy alone will help itself to develop. No country ever developed in the world without a good infrastructure. That, that just get it clear cut. You understand? You. So that one is now an argument. So why would the president say? Why would the president didn't say? We all know the fact about it. The president is making progress towards what he said. That's what I had to say. Thank you very much, um, Francis. Yeah, guys, I remember Vasco is like fighting a crackhead. You can be beating that person, that person will just keep coming back again. Never give up. They know they can be you. Vasco don't care why he right or wrong. Jerry, that's the most frustrating part. You know, when you argue with somebody, you know, you're debating somebody, and so, you so, wait, 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 w
Is it Vasco you want to close? So, so, yeah. No, I will close. But I just want to just say something because you know, Vasco don't care. That's why he's going to circle. He can contradict himself so many times, but he just want to be talking. He just want to be talking. Yeah. So that's the problem. It's difficult to, to debate Vasco because whether he right or wrong, he don't care. He just sat here and said, oh, there's no equipment in the country, but John, we have Bill Rose. John, we have to do equipment. It's living back to America. And John, we have uh, sold it. He sold the equipment. But then let, let, let leave that part. John, the people, that, you see that the problem to our people now, you can just give me a headache while I'm talking. So it's in a, you're voting for that religiously, but they make a build beautiful road all over the way, but nothing for y'all. He comes to your camp election time, he say, six more remake, he not build road for you. You're, you're probably women that die in the, 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 in the ambulance. He come with your, come with your, with helicopter. But Vasco just said he built road, low fire road. He built plenty of road. The Paco road he built, he couldn't bring some of those to the with people gotta drive to Africa to get back to York. Why is some kind of major invasion happening in the Southeast? How will it ever get to York? We don't get a helicopter. How will it ever get to York? You'll be on your own. But you said, Joey, my name my man. I don't care. He not do nothing for me. I will vote for him three million times. Yo, he was stuffing Bala in some easy just to make him win. What do y'all bringing him back for? Y'all was suffering with it. The man is like most of our country. He built sports park. PHP pack, most of Rallo County, he make it fun. But you can't even get drugs in South Oh, so, 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 you agree like that person, we have made most of Rallo County fun. No, no, not fun. No, 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 it's like putting let's take on frog. You put a beautiful park over there by the sea that's fun. But look at the community right behind the park, Booster Quarter. Go to Booster Quarter and right behind PSP uh, Park. We used to use that shortcut at the Gallery Beach. That place sink. But you build a beautiful play over there. How about you use your, your, some of your counter collection weapon equipment to clean the sony over there? To clean the drainage. So they put on feces and then what I can go. But you build a park where the people say coming from. For, for Booster Quarter, but people, yeah, 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 you sit there and think, man, don't vote on your stomach. I mean, for your stomach, right. you're, 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 you're not for right because you'll still be hungry. We are telling you are hungry, but the man just said we have built plenty of room, but not to cut yourself east. But you're waiting, to, you're full up for him twice over one million. What are you going to prove for you in the second Thank stage here when you got nothing to prove? Let me put your thing, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Emmy, finally, take us home. Yeah, um, my mama said, if you mind the ugliness of the baboon, you'll be there to get it. <laughs> that's Vasco right there. That friend said that Vasco doesn't care if you're right or not. He just throwing words out there like whichever one sticks, that's it. Just can, grab can it. you guys close and forget Vasco? We are closing. Can, can, can you guys, can you guys look, look, you, you're making Vasco to be like the guest on the show. Vasco I is want a him to be this. like you. I want him to be famous. And he, I, I don't think he need my help. No, 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 no. You guys are making Vasco the star of the show. On a serious note. Of I mean, course. He, you know, he doesn't need our help to do that. Just as other friends alone can make him famous. But we got to help him out too. To, to, to make him more famous. But anyways. Um, Nelson, it's funny. The guy that called and said, we're not answering a question. It was just a yes or no question. He put a question to him. He couldn't answer it himself. He didn't answer no, yes or no. He's like he kept going around the booth. So I guess he is still playing politics as well. But um, make uh, uh, JB did not say that in hundred day he will fly the whole every role. He will turn it with quota. He will pay for it. That's not what he said. He said no car will get stuck in the mud. He will make it passable. Those major roles that has something. That's what he said, and I think. Is doable because he's not doing it to say he put in quota, he's doing all of that. He just turned in there, like you said, grill a poor crust, right? Or something it's passable for the really CC, right? But people making it seems that like this guy said that he was bring the quota, he would make it other uh, uh San Francisco bridge and all of that. No, that's not what he said. So let's not get carried away. But, anyways, the Labyrinth people know what GMB inherited, like I said, and I will keep saying. 
JMB would not use rocks to do those promises that he said he would, that he make to the Liberian people. He needs money. And we all know from some of the things we have heard, we all know that with <laughs> some of those promises would not be possible. Is it because he lied to them or he doesn't want to do it? No. It's because the resources is, uh, uh, is not there. What he thought he was going to meet there is not there. So he has to generate those money to get it done. But the, 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 the main thing here, though, he's trying. Like Mika was saying, he started. Some things he started. Whether he finished it or not, I mean, we still got 30 days, right? So see, we'll see. Whatever. If some of them will be possible. Some of them will not be possible. But it would not be because he's lied to them. He just want to vote. He just want to know. It's because the resources are not there. Budgets are not even been passed yet. And they're trying to strangle him so much. These people did not do anything. Instead of thinking on the country now, my brother Vasco, it's all about because my government did not do well, so I don't want my country to do well. I don't want this one to do well. And the country is suffering. We all sitting there in a white man land, enjoying all this thing in. But then we praying for, for our country, for our government to fail because we want to uplift an individual. It's sad. It's so sad, my people. This, this is what this is why I get so upset when people say, "Oh, if Joe Baga doesn't do well, CDC can come back and they will vote for him." What? I mean, what are the Liberian people going back to? Lies. The the slum. More drugs. Extra judicial uh, 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 killed them. I mean, no security. Is that what they're going back to? Nobody else. They're all the young, young people that come in, vibrant people, innovative minds and stuff. They were leaving there. They were just be playing like libraries, like just a ping pong between United Party and, and, and CDC. When United Party doesn't do well, then they go back to the other one. CDC, then they go back to the other No. There's nothing there that CDC done for Liberian people, though. Even, God forbid, Joe Baca doesn't do well for, for them to go to. They were out of try somebody else. We always looking at other people. Oh, look at Ghana. Oh, look at Aricos. Oh, look, these people never had it good from the start. They went through their fair share or something, but they kept Thank voting you. for the people and then they kept voting for uh, different people all the time till they got it right. And that's what Liberia is going to do. We are not going back to see the CDC have a new brand themselves with new minds, new people, not all people than they had before. Then maybe, yeah, they are Liberian, why not? But not the same old people. With the mentality that they got in that Zogo going, you want to do a uh, protest? What are you protesting for? What did you do when you are represented there for the people? Liberian people has their, I mean, we are not there yet. We are getting there. The mindset of the people, I mean, <coughs> they're still, we are still voting in some funny, funny people, but at least people are getting more informed now than ever. So I doubt it that anybody will look at CDC. You don't want uh, 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 the right thing done. You just want, oh, I'm praying for the government to fill. I'm praying for the government. No, you pray for the government to fill. You pray for Liberia to fill. And that's not what we want. We want somebody to start, the next person come up and continue and go on for our country to move forward instead of playing ping pong ball, politics between two political parties. That is not Liberia. And that's not what we want. And I, I pray Liberia. And I'm so excited when I'm getting calls from Liberia and it's saying what they're saying. We sitting up here listening to people saying different things. Oh, the people are like this. The people, but when the people call, they are they are happy. They are hopeful. Is it great? Is it better? No, but they, they know something will happen. Thank you, Vasco. Why are you cutting me off? And Nelson, you said thank you. I'm gonna take my one minute. Uh, back. So they know so, something so, will happen. So, no, no, you're not taking your one minute back. I will hard <laughs> that Nelson, one minute. I will hard that one minute. I will hard that one minute because. You are consistently um, um, interrupting Vasco. You see, this is why. Let's ask the let, 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 let ask the audience. <laughs> let them be the judge because you're not but, fair. But, but that's it before you. No, you're you trying to sell it up to the audience. Then 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 was, no, 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 Vasco. Vasco, and, Vasco and let's me. have let's have Emmy to conclude, and then uh, okay. we have to. Man, let's see. You get too much time to Vasco on the show yet. Then we can't even talk about anything. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I mean, we hold you there, hold you there. Vasco, we got ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Be talking. How about ten minutes? Vasco, we are three individuals. We are three different ideologies. We are three different. Well. Forget, but I want to. We had three different uh, 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 views that we had to something we are now one, we are not Sammy twins that are connected by the brain, and we think the same way. Something he has a point to make, I have my point to make. 
I don't, I'm a Liberian, I'm an independent, I'm not here to speak about political party. I'm here, I'm support the government, but I am not well, stuck in a on. political I'm party mindset, okay? I don't have so you have to let me speak. Uh, okay, and okay, guys, 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 okay? guys, guys, we have Thank to. Thank you. You, you have, are making me, have, Nelson, have, you have, and Vasco made me lost my tone, so I, I, I just had I don't think that is fair, though. Y'all need to stop, and I'm talking. So, 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 let, look. Well, I'm the only female on here, so we want to play the part. Let's do that. <laughs> on a serious note, that's not Vasco, what he said. I, I didn't say that. I mean, we're gonna Miguel, 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 uh, let me come here a bit. Vasco and Emmy are fond of interrupting each other. Vasco is making a point, Emmy will consistently interrupt. Emmy is that's making a point, Vasco will consistently because interrupt. I, so, what we're gonna do is that as the audience, we will use. We will use the mute button and the backstage no, button. replay. The That's what you should do right now. Replay. <laughs> oh, what, what we have to go. Look at uh, Joseph. Joseph uh, Thomas. Thank you, Joseph no, Thomas. No, no, you. But but why you can't you can't you can't advocate for Vasco too? Because you were yeah <laughs> there though, Miss Harrietta. Now, sing give yeah, us no. a lot of time to entertain <laughs> us the, with the lies mistake, and mistake more. you're making on this show. <laughs> the Liberian people want to hear what you guys will do for them. They're not Vasco. When you come here and when you come and say things about George Ria, I come in defense and tell you say what you're saying. This is not what you're saying. This but is what you don't make any defense. You don't even make any defense. You don't you want to be just there. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you, telling you, 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 you don't be saying anything. What the government is doing, you should be saying anything. Okay, guys. So, what you have to do, 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 you that's the reason why the people move job. Yeah, so, no, 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 our brother Francis Emmy, Emmy, again, you are interrupting the closure of the show. You see, uh, you see all the noise you see. Oh, Nelson, you won't be biased here tonight. All the noise you hear. Hang on, hang on. The moment I start to tell you want something, okay? So you know, the caller, the caller says you said you don't want to get loud. You wanna be guys? We have to go, man. I want to say thanks to everyone. Everyone, thanks to thanks to thanks to Sherry, thanks to our sister Sherry Smith for joining us. Robert, Robert, Melon, Joseph Tamba, and everyone for joining us tonight. And we we look forward to having a great show tomorrow. We'll be here another edition of the program. Until then, have a good night and. Bye bye for now. The late night politics is going off for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow. Bye bye, guys. Good night, guys. Thank you. Y'all good, yeah. good night. Good night, y'all. Man, send me your number. I can hang out with Minnesota, man. Okay, okay so Mikael. 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 Oh, okay. Mikael, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to give me a reminder after the show and then uh, so I can have you added. Yeah. Right. I'll say my number in the group. Yeah, yeah. You in the group? No, I'm not in the group chat yet. I mean, I'm in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, I, yes, I, a special one from the CEO's downtown with the